hate us because man things just don't gear up properly it's another session of the salt marsh side story fire island and other aquatic animals last time the party became a party again some left some came back some were new yeah i know it's kind of not a side story because of other things but think about it like this are you guys the main party in a world that has Simon in it? And Olber? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Come on, I'll the man. The DM, I guess. Come on, the lizard folk did roll 112 for his stealth rolls. <laughs> With some help, you know. <laughs> there was some very slight nudging, yes. <laughs> Plus, it just flows off a ton of the salt marsh side story, because we're not doing the salt marsh module. True. This is something that came from Saltmarsh. Originally to fill time. And indeed, last time the party met each other, really. They were joined by Mulch. Tiny guy who is yet to reveal his inner depths. But he punches. Maybe kicks. Mm -mm, no. And then there is the big guy. Very big. Pretty damn big. With a big stick. Big stick. And he had just recently oh, given up. Softly. He had just recently given up his cooking tools for a crossbow. As the as a couple of party members wriggled themselves into a nice little nook. Of a dwarven swap stop and swap. They had stepped around this little ruined building, finding fire newts, and a couple of the crispy kuatoas. These fire newts, not languid. Not worn out, not exhausted like the previous ones they've dealt with. And they just keep succeeding at ambushing them. The fire newts, not the party. So, I get up. What the fuck are you doing? I well, am pretty sure... Wasn't there a uh, smokestack nearby or something that we could see approaching? There are many smokestacks, yeah. but yes, one is getting yeah. closer. Yeah, and where we... was that again? Up north, basically, by the direction of the map. Okay. Yeah, I I'm and... finally gonna squeeze the fuck back out of here. Yeah, we Can... were about to clear the entrance thing to the box. I think so. I think that's what we're doing. Well, you're doing oh, that, but you've already got the shit in it. Yeah. There could be something else here, but... You what know. you're left here with is a set of stairs leading down with a fiery trail burned through the stonework. Are we going down the stairs, or...? That's where we are, right? I thought this was like kind of a recessed little thing here, where, where this uh, statue was. Wait, um, Corvus, can you ping where the stairs are? Okay, that's there, where, where the stairs are. Alright. Time to escape. Sure. Is that you there's no it? windows where we are, is there? Uh, there's no wall where Shelly is. Oh. Yeah. Are we, um, hidden by the trees? Or no? In what way? You mean the characters or the building? If you saw the building on the way there, like, it is pretty obvious. Your cell, no, you're, I mean, you're like... kind of obscured. Not okay. quite much. Okay. It'll be partial cover, not even half. Okay. And the big smokestack coming is coming for us. It's actually a narrow smokestack compared to the ones further into the distance. There are several static ones that are quite big. Oh. Bigger than the ones you've seen spilling out of the creatures. But it could just mean there's a lot of them. Might be a rave. <laughs> or at least some sort of outdoor festival. Perhaps a Burning Man. Lizard rave. This is a stupid sun island. Of course it's Burning Man. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh... 
Um, did we investigate this hallway with the stairs before last session? You have not been no? in the room. Okay. Uh, I'll stop here. Looking for any traces of uh, recent travel through the hallway. Well, you don't even need to roll for that. I mean, like I said, there is the burned pathway. It's yeah. pretty wide. Like, you know, it is, you know, you can sort of shift and almost get like a full, you know, like a full descent spread to the legs. And does it smell recent? Like, do, does it still smell like it burned recently? To be fair, most of the island smells like burning, but yeah, there's okay. there's still a heat off it. Because for one thing, while you're inside here, it is a little bit cooler. But yeah, this is still pretty hot. Smells like a boss battle. You can see it shift and uh, shift and uh, wiggle about as well. It's not just a straight path. I guess we should probably take the stairs, yeah. There's nothing else left to explore in the ruin, it looks like. Are the stairs up or down? Downwards. I mean, yeah. you guys have been on the roof. You know that there's not any... Aha! Hold it right there, motherfucker. <laughs> you who just uh. threw your token right into the room with not even a stealth roll. Yeah, she, she, uh. she assumed. And, you know, we know what they say about assuming. You've revealed my trap newts. Again. <laughs> Yep. Trap yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, <it's> trap <laughs> but also again <laughs> This is the third time. And we'll kill him again. <laughs> <laughs> she assumed that all the trap newts were dead at this stage. <laughs> uh there are always more. I'll allow Rainy and Ready to move up to where Otok and Mulch are? Yep. Okay. If you want to hang back and just let this happen to her. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> On the bright side, Mulch, your turn's over, but you've got your reaction. Same with Rainy. Woo! How's these green. guys' turns? <laughs> Again, it happened three fucking times. I wasn't the one that walked in last time. <laughs> this party doesn't learn. No, we um, don't. Does any party? Harvest, can you add me to the initiative? I'll just type it in. Oh, you're not on there? I had it clicked. There you go. Alright. Ah, let's see now. There's so many options right now, you see. That's the problem. Yeah, they're just gonna fucking banzai you. Option one. <laughs> wow, she's not helping you right now. <laughs> Ow! I think a 19 hits, yeah? Yeah, 19 definitely hits. Mm -hmm. And then the other one goes. Although, to be fair, they only get advantage on the first of their attacks. Uh, is a sizzling? Hang on. Oh, I was using the wrong one, so hang on, hang on. There we go. So yeah. Oh, slag. It, don't, so let's remove the five, because it should be this damage roll. Yeah. There we go, so in total you took 14. But you can, you know... Oh, that's right, you've got... Uh, you do have your... No, you don't have your reaction. Okay, so you just took it. 14 is they okay. just walloped into you with their shitty scimitars. That's their turn, Ocon. Yeah. I shall move up and probably dash because yeah. I don't think I can do anything else right now. Uh, yeah, there are walls blocking uh, yeah. them. Yeah. You are hearing elf some elf noises of distress, but mainly it's just these scimitars swinging around. Yeah. <laughs> I shall dash up to this upper one and stare at him. Yeah, angrily. 
You've got eyes on this guy, man. Yeah, because there's a wall there. Yep. Ginny right. now. Oh, uh, well. Going to be right here. Um, well, I can see the one behind Delph. Right ahead of me, so I. And will that attack. will be end of turn. All right. Uh, you heard me, Corvus, right? But you're just gonna. Well, you'd have to get in there because they do have full cover. Oh. Uh, uh, where's. Yeah. Oh, so there's where like a Shelly doorway. and Otak are is where the door is. Oh, okay, yeah. gotcha. Because, yeah, if I move him here, okay. you can see there's walls there. Oh, okay. Sorry. It's okay. Cool. Um, it's just a bugger, what? but this is how it lines up. <laughs> but yeah, it's a one tile doorway. Damn it. Click. Jeez. I mean, you've seen uh, that they can't really put much behind their weapons. Yeah. I will go ahead and just use the short sword on the one on the one above. Ready up. As he brings up his shield. Doesn't help. A heavy hit of nine damage. As you do I have through. a second attack? Yeah, I do. Uh yeah, you're yeah, you're a Fey Wild Ranger. So it's only the six damage this time. I think? Yeah. Is that how it works? Is only the first yes. attack? Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. And that's all I can do. Also, is, for anyone else, has the Roll20 UI been flickering a lot lately? It just did for me, actually. Yeah, it's been doing that quite a bit, so they must have changed something that's just causing... Just measuring... I was doing oh. measurements. Could that have been what it was? I was using the ruler. It should... Like, what you do shouldn't affect us at all. Right. Like yeah. I said, it's just uh, uh... some... I didn't see anything, so... Yeah, I, know. I'm I know. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm on mobile, so I mean, that's different. Yeah. yeah. Shelly, you just got carved up a bit. Yeah, I, I really fucking enjoyed that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Be careful who you admit that to. To, to the... Do that guy. Does a 14 hit? It does not. It is just a miss. <laughs> She looks frustrated. That is really as... bad. <laughs> uh, don't you have? Don't you have another dagger? Um. Yeah. Hold on. Um, Unless you want to use your bonus for disengaging and getting out of the way. Well, I mean, I'm also a skirmisher, so I mean, I don't know. Isn't that just for the guy you attacked, though? Well, that's, um, when an enemy ends its turn within five feet of me. I could have moved earlier, but... That's your reaction, though, isn't it? Um, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you didn't yeah. have your reaction. It was a surprise round. Yeah. Same way that you couldn't do thinking, your uncanny dodge. This my next turn. I can do that, but... Uh, oh, that's the wrong button. Fuck. Fuck! I mean, you could always risk another hit. <laughs> Are you going to stand your yeah. ground? Yeah, she's just going to stand her ground. She just says, oh, fuck it. Alrighty. To the tiny man in the big hat. I'm going to have to use... I'm going to use a key point here to bonus action dash so I can get up to this guy. You don't have to. I mean, it's not... But I really, I really want to. <laughs> I, just, I feel like I have to. And I can now use Shelly as a... um. For advantage, right, at this point? <laughs> no, no, she is providing flanking. You don't use her for advantage. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> while, she is an, while she is a mainly naked elf, she's a soggy elf. She's not that appealing to the fire newts. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> she lacks that inner fire, but they're very attracted to. Jeez. Inner sog. Oh, yeah, because the only thing she's wearing is the leather armor. Yeah, I forgot. Well, it doesn't matter much. Sea Elf, built for speed. It's like Abe Sapien. Yeah, do you get another one? <laughs> I do have a second attack. Luckily, I have double attack. That is luckily a hit. Yes! <laughs> it's not no. a kill! <laughs> what is punk? He's punking him. Oh, you punk Jesus ah. Christ. 
Rainy, at the back. <laughs> Just chilling out, not doing anything. Mm-hmm. Feeding the crab. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Whipper Ting follows along at a moderate pace. All right, that's my turn. Does uh, Scuttles not get his own turn? No, he goes on my turn. Okay. I suppose you could have dashed. I did dash. Okay. Fire a new time. This one, the highly injured one, is going to disengage. Big surprise. Oh, and he gets five feet down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Can we still see him? Yeah. From up here? Yeah, a couple of you have dark vision. And is he. Does he have cover down there? Nope. It is a okay. straight hallway leading quite a ways down. Okay. Aim for death. But the other one moves here to try and block you, Ginny. So, no longer advantage. Good, that's top of right. No. Indeed. So he tries again. And he rolls like you do. Double no. <laughs> Fuck you, I've got some good hits in. <laughs> Alrighty. Zocon's turn. Going there to hit with the big stick, potentially. Nope. Nope. Yeah, I think I'm done again. <laughs> but we're all having a moment. Okay, I'll 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 give him a chance here, because we are using flanking. So we'll say, in a distant oh, moment, right. you did move over here. So roll again, roll again. All right. <laughs> um, mm, yes. There we that go. That also nice. misses. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. A big Bunk wallop, lizard. and you just see. Just stuff starts to spurt and drip as rips are made in this fleshy bag of a fire newt. And he's crumbled a little bit. He has lost some height permanently. Like Wooper Ting. He could be friends with Wooper Ting now, I think, right? <laughs> I mean, mm. depending on his mental condition, maybe. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do you have a bonus? Anything else? Nope. All right. Nope. Ginny. My cooking tools will, are away. I will yeah, shoot for... an arrow at the one that went down the stairs. Uh, it'll be a disadvantage because you've got someone right beside you in melee. Uh, sure, why not? That's yeah, still a good hit. And you put it through his neck. You see him <laughs> puncture, deflate, and flop. Now I forgot the rules on this. If I wanted to switch to my short sword to attack. Is that a bonus action? No, no, it's or... it's free to swap. Basically, free. okay. Like in general, you get one. You know, you can sheaf or unsheaf a weapon. You can just drop it if you want. Okay, but you know. So I will short sword the yeah. one next to me. Is that flanking or no? Yeah. There you go. Still alive. Just seven. But you know, fucking near death's door. You just make one of the big rents in his right side join up with his left, and he is just starting to sag in on himself. This is kind of sad. Shelly! Well, to be fair, they did try to fillet your, your soggy friend. Fuck. Well, we did murder a bunch of their people, so... They were looking where the spots between the poison and the tasty fish was. Yeah, that's a uh, miss. That is also a miss. <laughs> I'm just gonna disengage. God damn it, guys! You As can't. That, bonus that, action? That, that was your action and your bonus. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> Why did I double that? Shelly's just looking there and just like, this is a thing I can do. I get, you know, I'm gonna get out of the fucking doorway though. You've missed three times um. by one. <laughs> Mulch. No. Oh, don't let Mulch get the kill. I can't really prevent him from doing it. <laughs> Good boy, Mulch! <laughs> well, but he can prevent himself. I do his action punch him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. It's okay, it's okay. 
Rainy? I'm just trying to go the boxing thing. I'm shoo, 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 shoo. Yeah, you're shadow boxing when you should be real yeah. boxing, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're just stepping up beside Ginny, just going, I'm going to give him this, and I'm going to give him that, and I'm going to give him a pow. And the participation trophy goes to Mulch. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he's done as much damage as Shelly has. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to actually on one of those, I should point out. Oh god. 10, 15, 20, 25. I didn't have advantage the first yeah. time. There we go. There you go. <laughs> Finally. Jesus Christ, guys. <laughs> Ending it with a bang. This, I this still... is why you fuckers are a side story. He's still all the one. I'm the damage. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the crab. Thank you, crab. Um... <laughs> And the crab finishes the job of just squishing the empty juice box. We have almost every square around this guy surrounded. Yep. <laughs> Whooper Ting is probably like, the fuck am I doing with these guys? He, I mean, he could almost have made it in the combat too. He does have his Whooper Punch. Mm. But yeah, you might as well squash him before we could get downstairs properly. How you doing, Shelly? Sure that wasn't too loud. When the... I'm not dead yet. <laughs> when the but, one um... ran down the stairs, did it look like he was just trying to get away, or did it look like he, he knew something was down there? Well, considering you can see, still see the burned tra trail, you imagine there's more down there. Okay. okay. Luckily, he didn't have any horn or anything. But also importantly is the fact that while you did get into a clattering fight, that is a long way down. Okay. Can we this see the end of the stairs? It's a little hard, but you can see some light in the distance. It's a very fiery type of light, you know, lots of reds and oranges. Mm. But we probably still have a sneak, you know, we can get there without being seen. Also, a reminder that there are such a thing as short oh. wrists. Shit, it's level two. Um, hold uh, on. We do have a smokestack coming towards coming, us, don't yeah. we? Yeah. We can hide in here, though, one. right? So, we, short rest we can might kinda not just hide in the room before the stairs. Uh. Oh, okay, there we go. I don't know why it adds sneak to that, but you know, okay. How much is left on the um. rosary? Oh, this is the first one that I've done. Are we taking the short rest before we go down? Could Ocon still have a vial or flask or jug or something? Can you make tools during a short rest or is it a long one? Um, Let's check. Because the moment you are focusless. That was... Kind of matters for I your spell casting. One hour? Yeah, that would be a short one, rest then. Yeah. So the thing is, the thing is I don't actually need my cooking tools for that. I just need an empty flask. What I intend to do. Okay. Yeah, there's probably an empty bottle among the party. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna take it. It's gonna magically refill. And I'm giving it to the soggy elf to drink. I think she's healed. Is she? No, I'm... Not all, no, nowhere near. I'm uh, only at 35 out of 51. <laughs> How much did you lose? Um, right now I'm 35 out of 51. Okay, guys, I yeah, think as a consensus, you might want to say whether we're doing a short rest or not, because some people are rolling hit dice and some are still <laughs> using resources. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll roll a hit dice, okay. Okay, so well, we're having a short yeah, rest um, then. Yeah, all yeah. right. Mm. As you all sit and huddle around the fire, the body warmth of the fire newt. <laughs> I guess we should try to keep sneaky during this in case the smokestack does come closer. I mean, I'd love to see those rolls. <laughs> you have two stealthy cats and a soggy elf stabber, but as we know, that means nothing for this crew. I have a plus. In theory, <laughs> I should be anything. stealthy. 
Yes, in theory, all of the party except Okon and Whipperting and the Crab should be stealthy. But it doesn't always work out that way. Yeah, my, my seven means jack shit. Go ahead. Roll stealth. Let me laugh. Second lowest that I could possibly fucking roll. <laughs> I want to point out, I'm very glad that that was the second one and not the first one. What's the plus four there? Uh, guidance. I actually ah. do think I have that. It's a cantrip, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I'm looking bad. Well, you have no view on the outside at this point, and you're staying huddled in, so you do not know if the smokestacks have gotten close enough now to be in the area or not. But you'll get your hour's rest. So, Okan, if you want, you could have right. refor reformed your cooking utensils. Yeah, I think Okon is going to pick up some scrap metal from these, from these statues we found before, and some rocks. And he's doing something, and inexplicably at the end of it he has cooking tools. Plus there's the crappy weapons of the fire newts. Which if you take a look at, yeah. their scimitars are properly like coated in slag and burrs. Like they they look like they've been reforged really badly a few times. Not quite gotten the yeah. right temperature. Alright. Then this scimitar is now a ladle, I think I think. Yeah. And a frying pan. Yeah. Ladle, frying yeah. pan. Whatever. Tongs. Ah. Some firestones there as well. Those holders used for a corn cob. Yeah. Stuff. And then the party head down, yes? Yes, sir. Look at him all respectful. Is this if we'll give him a chance? Yes, sir, Bob. And no stealth again. <laughs> Uh, well, see. some of you did okay. Did I remember to get the party tokens? Hang on. Long <laughs> map. You guys oh, can yeah. sit in darkness for a while. I feel like I want a, like a vertical monitor for one of these. And the video. Well, to be fair, a lot of it is negative space anyway. No, I said reveal roll twenty. Do it correctly. There we go. Oh, there we are. Smack dab in the middle, huh? Not quite. I was gonna say that that's the, that's more. What middle class. are you talking about? <laughs> I, fucking, I was I was still scrolling. Okay, it took a while. No, no, it's okay. I've got you, got you there. Mulch's in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I, I, I look like a fire newt right now, don't I? You just look like a short, hairy dude with a leaf hat. It's a cool hat. Wait, is Malt fucking mm. naked? No, no. Like I said, at this point, we're we're done with the naked stuff. Okay. There are lots of leaves, though. That's the that's the primary. Material. It's up to him how much he got from salvage clothing or just foraged for. It's lots of leaves, mostly. There's like one like like a belt with leaves on it. That's kind of it. So keep knowing, that in mind when you're behind Knowing me. you, one of those is probably poison oak or something, and you just <laughs> <Yeah>. didn't know. <laughs> the one that goes right under the undercarriage. I'm just walking around like that. Well, it keeps you busy, you know? You can't just settle down. <laughs> That's my secret to monk training. And yes, this place. Deep stone. Firelight. You can see that there are sort of... Com enclosed braziers set along the walls. Some look like they've been almost wrenched off of positions, but they've got supremely solid dwarven fastenings to them. But the place is lit up. Great, heavy, dour stonework. Not a lot of decoration, but there is elements you're seeing now and again as you're going down the stairs and down to the big corridor. You're seeing elements of flame. Now and again, an, an, an anvil or two prominent some rows of hammers engraved on the walls. Um, yeah. Just so I can get my bearings, which way are the stairs? You guys have been coming from this direction. Okay. Okay, okay. so interesting. Some of this is under the temple, or that building. And it's no yeah. writing, just pictures? Just pictographs, yeah. 
Okay. Can we tell what they look like? Or yeah, like I said, it's they... you're seeing lots of tools, crafting, armor, some of those simple triangular warrior depictions of dwarves. Yeah, some dwarven shit. Rarely you can see some humans in the same sort of stuff, or at least taller people. They might be elves, although it seems unlikely for them to be encarved on dwarf They're not the them. same as... Uh, didn't we see, like, a picture of, like, giant dwarves in an earlier place? Hmm. Yeah. So these are not... These are specifically not the same drawing. These are specifically not the same shape as the dwarves. Okay. Well, it looks like we have some doors up ahead we could go explore. I assume it's dark as shit in here? No, well, as I said, it's completely lit up. Oh. Is it by torches or just, uh, like, light from stones? As I fucking said, enclosed braziers. Okay. Mounted on the wall. Some have been... Some they've attempted... Some have attempted are, to wrench them off. Are these the braziers? Nah, they're just pillars. The braziers are unmarked okay. because okay. they're attached to the fucking okay. walls. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. But only some of them are, like, kind of broken. Most of them are still good. They're all working, but some of them have been pulled from one bolt, but they still have 15 attached to them, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Like, some vandals have come so, through, but they are not mad enough to take this shit down. They don't have the fucking time. What are these? Shelly is trying to poke her head in to stealthily see what the fuck is going on in there. <laughs> oh, now we're being stealthy. More yes. important, also, is the fact that you have seen the burn trail and it's going this way. Okay. And what are these, Corvus? Just nice flagstones. Okay. They seem to indicate something about the room, but it's a different pattern, you know. These ones, they're all sort of blending in together. These ones have very, you know, very clear-cut edges, very prominent. Like bathroom tiling versus your wooden floors. Hmm. Yes, she's trying to get a look into the room. It's a pretty big room. Oh, so, oh, okay. So this is the. There's a wall there. That's not okay. I thought this was a door too. I think oh. that these up here are right. These kind of. Yeah, the white bits are. Why a door. does one? Yeah, why does one have a line through it? Is it like a different kind of door or just different it's... drawing? Well, it's not like double I drew door. this. It's not like I drew this map. So we're gonna say it's a double door kind of affair. Ah, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> That's what I thought. In this case, we have a very heavy, but still kind of threadbare curtain. But it looks like a fireproof curtain. You know, it is heavy material, lever, but there's still patches and marks and scuffs, especially in the bottom. There's no designs on it, like a, like a tapestry or anything. No, it just looks straight up like a protective measure. Uh... He tries to look under to see if she can see if there's, like, flame feet underneath it. You see a pedestal. And some more skinny pillars, but also a lot of bright light in the room. Uh, she looks and kind of gestures for the others to come on in, like, should we open this? You can do it. <laughs> uh, she's asking the others. I'm also mean, asking for them to come up. I know, I know. I mean, they could come up, but you've got it in you. Come on. I believe in you. What's the worst that could happen compared to what just happened? That so yeah, exactly. she, she's waiting for them to come up, <laughs> and then asking for an opinion. You said there was a pedestal and what? Lots of light. And two pillars and a lot of light. What kind of light? Or it just got brighter as we walked in. It is a like it is a much brighter source of light than you're currently standing in. And, you know, it's got movement to it. Movement like a flame? Or movement as in, like, it's moving more than one foot at a time? Like a flame. Okay. Just to help the rest of the party, you might want to speak up a bit and not let these two assholes do it all. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, yeah, Yoda I, I, wants I to run into ambushes. <laughs> no, I, I asked for opinion. <laughs> My opinion is you should trigger more ambushes. I think we should do the alternate path first to get the most loot and then come back to the main story. 
So this is the alternate path, probably. Okay. I don't know if... Hmm. The, the trail goes to the left from where Shelly is right now, right, Corvus? Yeah. But there's yeah, also the fireworks, fireworks too. Yeah. yeah, there's those doors up north look mighty uh, tempting. Although, that's actually west because of the stairs. Well, don't worry about that too much. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, I just work on this trap. Anyway. I vote doors. Okay. Maybe think about this in character terms. Yeah, well, why, why didn't you come up here and talk <laughs> about it? <laughs> Instead of hanging all the way the fuck back there. Well, you know, I rolled a nine on stealth. I'm not really feeling too hot. I don't want to... <laughs> this party's pretty bad for passive perception. Yeah, what's the highest we've got going? Um, I assume a fourteen or fifteen. Oh, fifteen. Anyone yeah. beat a fifteen? Yeah. I'm a fourteen. Yeah. I have a fifteen. Fifteen here. Okay. A little attenuated by by the stonework. You can hear some hisses and chatters in a language none of you have. Turn this way. But does it sound like we've heard it before? Yes. Sounds a bit like Fire Newt, which, you know, adds up. I can't believe that. Why, why would they be talking in Fire Newt here? I mean, they're actually talking in Ignan, but, you know, to you guys, it's just, it's just Fire Newt. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows about one of the glorious elemental languages, after all? You say language? Well, you have to use a kettle whenever you're talking it. <laughs> so, curtains or doors? We well, have, what, three doors, one curtain? Mm -hmm. Where no hissy sounds are coming from, which is curtain, I think. No, no, you hear his, he sounds this way. Kind of adds up to the tracks right. that we saw. Yeah. Why don't we hunt down the tracks and then go from there? Hmm. Because you definitely want to meet the big thing that made those tracks before you find any of the loot. Good idea, I like this. I mean, there could be some equipment this in here. some new age use. thinking here. <laughs> I mean, we found nice nice weapons in these dwarven ruins before some ice weapons might actually be nice against this new if we can find some more like that dagger the only thing I'm afraid of is that if we do that and then it comes up behind us you know just eyes on the back of your head and whatever I'm gonna move mulch up at this point <laughs> just because over here you can see some dwarven written on it. It's pretty old-fashioned, even for fucking dwarves. Like, it's the same issue you saw with murals and whatnot. Does Whipperting know what it says? He is not getting close enough. <laughs> Luckily, I can definitely read this. Yeah, you can read that. Like, right now, you guys still haven't cleared anything out. He hasn't seen any monsters dealt with. And he also saw how you dealt with the previous monsters. He's gonna wait. <laughs> oh, that's that's pretty far. I don't know if I can read it from this far. I might have to get closer. That's true. Mm. That's true. How dumb are you? Mm. Well, I mean, we have to go this way if we're going to the doors anyway. Maybe you could have so Shelly make a rubbing of it. You know, she goes over there, just gets it all accurate. Maybe she shouts it out letter by letter. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. No, no, well, she does not. <laughs> Okon could pick up the dwarf and carry him over. He's a halfling. Oh, you mean Uberting? Oh, actually, the actual dwarf. Halfling too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can try to sneak across. I mean, I only... I'm so small. I can toss the whole thing. Yes, but How we should focus on exploration have... right now. Yeah, but we can... I can... I'm, I'm gonna you cut can, over... You can read water. at a distance. You're capable of this, I believe. I okay. would count tossing halflings as exploration. It says provisions. Yeah. Ah! Ah! I will relate this to the party and say perhaps we can find a good snack. Although, this has been oh. here for a while. Probably not. You can also so, see so, over here, it says Forge Master. Oh, that sounds promising. Alright, I'm gonna open the curtain, unless anybody objects. Nope. Nope. I, I will Go ready right my fists. 
Are you absolutely sure you want to peel back the veil? Uh, hold on. Not yet. <laughs> uh, uh, move back there. Move, move back there. <clears throat> Come on, kitty cat. Move back over here. I I will ready my bow. I will ready to help Jenny. I gotta I'll say, all, on the back. all of you are getting this buildup of foreboding and tension rising for you as she reaches for that curtain. I, I gesture for the There's punchy punchy to this. come up and stand next to me. <laughs> <laughs> now I open what it. was that noise? What the fuck was that noise? <laughs> okay, you pull it. the curtain back, and it is. Horrific for a moment, like you see this huge horned beast standing over an anvil. Flames belching out of both the hammer and its horns. Oh. Luckily, it's a statue. Uh. Do we know what it is? I mean, at a first glance, you say, holy shit, they were devil worshippers. <laughs> but then you also think you've seen that figure on the murals, where it still looked like a devil. Okay. Oh, okay, so this is like a 3D rendition. Yeah. Or a statue, if you will. <laughs> yes, yes, you might say that. Perhaps. Yes. <laughs> but standing in front of a huge anvil. And we have two doors, looks like either side as well. And upon the anvil, I'm still describing. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Is a small, little, action figure-sized dwarf in armor. Arms raised in triumph. Aw. And yes, there are two doors to the upper chambers, and also just... A fuck ton of fire effects going on here. Like it's coiling around the pillars in unprotected snakes of fire. Huh. And it's billowing out from the statue, but in controlled shapes. Like it is making the head of, an, of a hammer. It is making the curve of the horns. Ooh, cool. This is creepy. <laughs> I wonder. So the entire budget was blown on pyrotechnics. Is there any sort of temperature difference in this room? Yeah, it's fucking hotter. Okay. The rest of the place is pretty chill. Like, it's still wonder... a little uncomfortable. A little bit. Prickly heat. But this is its not as bad as outside. No, not as bad as outside. Okay. But you can probably get your sweat on. Ah. I, I opened this door. A good old dwarven sauna. You give it a push, you give it a shove... It's a little bit sticky. Sticky or locked? Sticky. You're feeling movement, but, you know, heavy-duty door. We want to check the rest of this room first. I'm curious about this little what? statue. Oh, I'm okay. curious about uh, the oh, other oh, door. Okay. Is it also sticky? That one swings open comfortably enough. Oh. Looks like okay. a little well, meditative we'll area. Before. Like, there's some sheets to pull out. There's some really worn-out towels. And just fabric and cloth, and just places where you could sit, and kneel, and relax. Nice. There are nothing of worth to us. Well, not without I mean... an investigation. Yeah. <laughs> All you're finding out is what you're seeing by glancing across the room. Oh. And that's all you fucking get. <laughs> 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 Holy shit! <laughs> oh. Oh my God, oh. guys. <laughs> It's uh, worse when it's not in combat. It feels like Jenny made his fucking mind up, but there's nothing worthwhile in this room before he even opened the door. <laughs> fucking blanket. I'm gonna have fur underneath that shit. Ocon, you do sort of, you know, you try to be quiet about it. And Rainy... I'm not. And Rainy is a proper cat about this here, so she manages to get the sweet stuff before you do, but... There are a few, like, well-dried-in jars. And there's a little cabinet on the side. All right. Pull that Let's open. open the cabinet. Then, yeah, pull that open. You do find ornately decorated bottles Ooh. with a red fluid in them, but they're a little bit dried out. You can see the tide mark from where they used to be higher. Oh. These were, in centuries past, greater healing potions, but now they're just regular healing potions. But the bottle is fancier. Still worth having. Yeah. Nice. And they are free. Yeah. Fancy yeah. yeah. bottles are nice. Yeah. And we can reuse those after we drink them. It's kind of interesting to see a bottle that is nothing but angles. Everything on it is straight-edged. 
<laughs> including the lid. I guess. Including the lid. Really? Take some strength to twist that off. Yeah. Maybe we could replace them with corks when we get back to the ship. But you do also find there's some, especially you, Okan, you notice the smell as you pick up a few of the old dried tubs and whatnot. There's still some grease in there. You know, you run it between the fingers, still a bit moist, still got a bit to it, and you could pull up at least one pack of this here altogether. What it is? Uh, do you have herbalism or such? I mean, you're, you're a chef. You got uh, that going for you, at least. I don't think Do you I have, have nature? Mm. No, I, I, I have medicine. That. Yeah, give me medicine. Give me medicine. Yeah. Fifteen with guidance. Yeah, yeah. He just keeps on using that guidance. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. It's a non common I mean, he's got Why would I not? four on both rolls. Let's see. Yeah, he's which, one, nicely. which one is this? Do, 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 do. Should have opened this file earlier, but I forgot to. Well, I ah, yes. I have as well, so. What yeah. you roughly identify this is, it's not something you come across a whole lot, but it's wolfweed. Which looks a lot like the poisonous wolfsbane, but this is actually a lot nicer. It can be rendered down, broken in. You know, you add a few bits to it to get it to congeal nicely. But actually, whenever you smear it onto the forehead and the chest and let it sit for a while during a short rest, it'll get rid of an exhaustion stack. Oh. So it's vapor nice. rub. Yeah. There's enough for about, well, roll me a d4. As you're one scooping it out of the tubs. There you go, you've got nice. three doses of it. Alright. Nice. Hmm. It's usually nicknamed as Journeyman Serum. They say that because they don't want to call it Journeyman's Grease because that just sounds like something you pick up <laughs> at a dodgy inn. You can find that anywhere. A serum at least sounds medically official. <laughs> But if you want a greasy nice. journeyman, you know, people are going to take it the wrong way. Uh, use on short rest to get rid of exhaustion. One stack of exhaustion. Yep. It can only be used once per short rest as well. You can't just slaver it on and get rid of multiple stacks. <laughs> uh, it's just meth. I feel great, but I can't stand up. <laughs> Friction is unknown to me in all shapes and forms right now. <laughs> I'm just a slug. <laughs> mm. I, should we, uh, uh, Jester, who pretend to come up here and uh, maybe he, he knows something about this room? I don't know. He's actually a dwarf. Yep. Yeah, he'll skite himself over. You see, if I could trust you guys, I could put him to be controlled by someone, but I don't... Mm. <laughs> I don't know if you've got his best interests in heart, is what I'm thinking here. As long as he's useful. His eyes go a bit oh. wide. Yeah, that's a that's a hell of a thing. I mean, it's good. It's good craftsmanship. It's well done. A bit fancy. It's uh, not molded in. Ah. Let's see. Will he know? Wow, he actually rolled pretty well in his religion. I can safely say this ain't a dwarf. So probably not one of our gods. Might be someone else's. Well, let me have a think on it, actually. I, I've done some secular... I, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll know. Can I uh, give it a roll? Do you have religion tagged? I do have religion tagged, yes. Go ahead. Ouch. <laughs> you concur. Yeah, it's definitely not a dwarf. For sure not a dwarf. This is an ecumenical matter here. I'm not really skilled for this. But I mean, he does also mention to the new people that this is something they've seen on the murals before. It was yeah. on this. It seemed to be making stuff for the dwarves. I wonder, are there any similarities in this kind of, like, flame room to some of the uh, cooling rooms that we've seen before? Well, I mean, the whole place is like that. Right. Like as you're walking around here, yeah, it's a nice temperature. 
You're not getting the convection from the stone or anything like that there. It's feeling nice. Okay. Definitely but an artificial coolness. I wonder if that... Uh, huh. this hey, is, wait. Was this room really with the Forge Master's room? Yep. That's, that sticky that door. door. Could I try to open it? Yeah, anyone could. It's d, &D. Yeah, let's give it a shove. Possibilities yeah. are endless. Unless you want to make shit up, that's not allowed. <laughs> I no break the door with my fist. D and D is anti-imagination, right, guys? Yeah, you're not yeah. Absolutely. have any ideas. Uh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try and to push or pull the sticky door, whatever way it looks to open. Yeah, I'm not gonna make you choose. It's okay. Roll yeah. me in athletics. All right, coming up. Twenty. Nice. Just fucking shoves it forward, resounding clatter throughout the halls. Probably should have rolled a bit lower. No, no, no. You just you <laughs> ease it open. You understand, like you've the moment you can, you've wrapped your fingers around it to try and brace it so it doesn't go flying off. Yeah. Just push it open. It looks like a nice little chamber for personal worship. You do actually see on the on the walls here more of those murals. Very simple ones, though. In this one, you just got, well, in the bottom one here, you have those triangular simplified dwarf pictographs meeting with the horned creature. And then the next one, you've got, them you've got the horned creature among the dwarves, you know, with them all around gathered at the feet, and them gesturing towards anvil and hammer and fire. Mm. All right. Is there anything down here? There is. Hang on. Okay. There's, there's also a small altar here. There are familiar dwarven symbols here. Mainly Moradin symbols. I can't remember some of our deities' names off the top of my head right now. Clangadin? Yeah, but there is just a couple of familiar pantheon here, although very primitive carvings. The main chamber. And yeah, there is... A screen door here. The S is obviously for secret, but how the fuck do you reveal this bit by bit and not reveal there's a fucking S there? Look at that. It's a little blatant. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> but on the bright yeah. side, it doesn't matter for this case because it's just a little storeroom. All right. There's some hmm. chest drawers. You can so see if, a few of them are already opened up. You can see that there's just some exceedingly old and worn out bits of clothing. Dwarf scale. A few smocks. A lot of hammer symbol uh, symbology on the clothing as well. And a very fine chain shirt. And some more. <laughs> Just checking. No, no, you do find a couple of things, actually. You find a nice blacksmith hammer. Oh. It was hidden underneath some of the boxes, along with two bags. Roll me two D1000s. Oh, no. The fuck? Hey, it's, it's not a 10,000. Let's be glad. Not a 10,000, no. You said 1,000? <laughs> yep. I need two people to roll a D1000. There we go. There we go. Hey, almost maxed. You nice. find two bags, one with 998 ball bearings in it, and one with 393 ball bearings in it. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> Shitting no yourself for a moment there, weren't you? <laughs> I mean, some of these might be nice to take with us. We have an unlimited supply. I mean, if you ever want to, like, cartoon trip somebody. That's exactly what they're for, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure, I'll take them. Why the fuck not? Although... How much does a thousand ball bearings weigh? Not a lot, because they're tiny ones. Okay, like... Oh, well, if we get into a car chase. Eh? Like, it's it's how you buy them in the in the PHP. They come in bags of a thousand. Okay. I was imagining bigger, then. Yeah. So how much is a bag of a thousand weigh? I think it's like two units of weight. Might oh, not even be okay. that. Okay, so... It's like the same on... Let's see here. Just for a hell of it. So a total of 1,391 ball bearings. That's a lot. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if you're gonna 
use them to chip somebody up, you're probably going to use about 100, maybe 50, 100. Yeah, there we go. Ball bearings, bag of 1,000, one gold piece, weighs two pounds. Oh. Nice. Expensive, though. A gold. We could sell these. As an action, you a can bag is a, is a gold, not one gold per ball bearing, you dunce. As an action, you can spill these <laughs> tiny metal balls from their pouch to cover a level square area of it is 10 feet on a side. Creature moving across the covered area must succeed on DC 10 dexterity saving throw or fall prone. A creature moving through an area at half speed doesn't need to make the save. Ah. Which shows you it was a pre it was a primitive version of the rules because no one ever talks about moving at half speed really isn't something they do directly. Yeah, it's that's just in, implied difficult terrain at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, this could be useful in this kind of confined space if we get into fight with those fire nodes. Ginny, roll me an intelligence. Save or intel just intel just intelligence. This is probably not going to go well. I don't know. You rolled pretty well investigation. Hey! You do have your pop gun. Okay. Ooh, buckshot? It'll reduce the range, but... Those getting forced out at magically high speeds? Magic shotgun. Yeah, <laughs> the best kind. If you feed, if you feed uh, some ball bearings in, you're put, you're putting in like ten a go. Yeah, it'll be ten a okay. shot. But it'll do three d four, plus your dex. The, the range, however, is twenty feet. Hang on, let hey. me add that before I forget. Yeah. The rest of you can think about what you're doing for now. Uh. You could take some cool dwarf robes. Ooh, 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 actually, maybe I'll style up over here. Yeah. I'm about the right size. Uh, is it still Shirley that? is not going to somehow anger dwarven gods. Not on her list of things to do. Yeah, it's still uh, dex. a holy man or something. It's still a dex weapon for hitting and damage. And what did you say was the damage? 3d4 plus your dex. Pretty nice. Consistent. But, you know, it also takes 10 ball bearings a go. And only 20 and foot of range. It, that does not have a long I'm range. I'm assuming it's piercing damage. Yeah. But importantly, it only has 20. It does not have anything beyond that. They get too scattered. 20, uh, 20 foot range, right? Yep. Alright. And, of course, you can only shoot it once around, so it does take an action to reload in this case. Or, okay. No, no, it doesn't take an action to reload, but you know what I mean. It takes a round to get a reload in. The same ammunition okay. roll as crossbows. But hey, it's one-handed. All we need now is two of them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, Shelly, maybe it'll piss off some gods, but also it'll be like a billowing, weirdly wide miniskirt and crop top. Fashion over karma. We all know what people pick, especially as game players. <laughs> I mean, we she all wear, you know... That's a horrible idea. <laughs> we all wear shoes that are made by slave labor. Yes. Shelly is not rain. She's not going to pick fashion over <laughs> functionality. <laughs> the woman who could be wearing medium armor, but instead wears a lever armor. But can turn into a dress with yes. pockets. Yes. I'm gonna. Meanwhile, I'm gonna turn my dwar stolen dwarven holy artifacts into a pope outfit. I'm gonna offend everybody. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Holy, I'm styling, dude. Give me a pope mobile next. Okay. So, oh, no. <laughs> what are you guys doing next? Apart from mulch. Yeah, yeah, Shelly's moving over here, and she's going to try to look down the hall a little bit.
Robert Ting tries to give you a scuff on the back of the head, but misses, and then grumbles as he walks away, pissed. What's that? Oh, that was mysterious. Oh. Yeah, it just shifts your hat and your hair wibbles a bit. Oh, Do you want to check real. the other rooms first? Shelly, you get eyes on the enemy. Oh, boy. Who are um... currently not looking in your direction. As they squabble amongst themselves. Also, you do see that, yes, toiletry facilities. It is a pistorium. Are there no dividers between the urinals? These are dwarves who work together. Of special note, though, is the shitter. <laughs> Imagine this place full. <laughs> <laughs> there were doors, at least. There were doors here, but they are long since removed. You can still see some scraps on the hinge. Wait, and it's hot, right? So it stinks like shit. Oh no, this is a cool room. Uh, it's okay. only hot in here. Hmm. Everywhere else is just a little above room temperature. Just a little bit. For a dwarf, not much of a problem. For a furry, probably a bit iffy. Then again, tabaxi come from fucking chult and jungle environments, so they're fine. So, Shelly, would you like to share with a class? <laughs> yes, she would immediately back up and hiss quietly. They're over there. Well. <laughs> <laughs> she would be pointing. At this point, is it bright enough that, like, we just know? We don't even have to, like, squint for it. We know through there. Yeah. Like, this is daylight, basically, the lighting system. All right. I mean, as much as you'd I... probably like to get used to the darkness again, no, it is also bright here. But we could technically go up north on the map without them seeing us. So long as they're squabbling still. They might even move on. Who knows the behavior patterns of these fire newt? We close the doors Maybe. behind us as we're moving our way through. Maybe we could pick them off at range. Uh, as he looks at uh, his empty fists. <laughs> I can shoot lasers, but you know, they're not that good. <laughs> How about our individual with a bow and spells? Who's just looking at his gun. Finally. <laughs> I'll feed you, my pretty. <laughs> do you want to get rid of them first before we try these other rooms, or do you want to try the rooms first? Well, what if there's, like, sleeping nudes in one of these rooms and they set off the alarm? We should kill the sleeping ones first, right? Oh, oh yes, I should also point out, in case you've forgotten, because it is thunder damage, that gun is loud as fuck. Yeah, hmm. I remember. Just in case, you know, it's been a while since it came up last. Wait, is that another door that we missed up there? Or is that just something that's like a bench? That was the cabinet where you got the potions. Oh, okay, that's the cabinet. I mean, we can kill him or go past. It's, uh, maybe, like, maybe we should just check and see what's around this corner just as a quick, like, look at first, if there's any reinforcements. Yeah. Sure. Then we can fight him after sense. that. They're not paying, you said they're not paying attention to us at all, right? Or I'm sorry, I'm distracted, distracted. by... I'm dis I am myself distracted by the equipment that P.O. posted on the orc. The fuck is that, P.O.? <laughs> You've never played World of Warcraft, but anyone who has knows exactly what that suit is. Oh, hold on. Um... Is that just post-expansion gear? Yes! No. Jesus that's... Christ, wow. That's <laughs> leveling gear. That's what you look like when you hit max level as a plate wearer. Nice. Uh, All right, so back to the tension. <laughs> Imagine snatcher music happening right now. So you want to check the room first, and then if that room's em empty, just take these out? Yeah, because it's a long room, hallway. I think. Okay. There could be more of them down there as well. Yeah. There's still uh, the thing that made that burnt trail. That's why I kind of want to avoid that at first. We know where that thing is. Alright. 
I'll make my way to the door. I'm going to stick to this wall over here away from them. It's not locked. You can see it's actually a little bit open towards you. Do I hear anything from the other side? Give me a perception check. Perception. Nope. It's not silent in there, but it could be a rat scraping around, like there's some... Maybe a uh. snake? Like, there's definitely something in there. <laughs> but it's pretty hard to, like... Whatever it is, if there is something in there, it is trying to be quiet. May I try as well? I'll give you a chance, sure. I don't want everyone doing no. this in sequence. <laughs> nope. You hear Early pretty much the same as him. There is a feeling that this should be this should be a silent room, but there's just something, even just an absence of something, that makes you feel there's something trying to be quiet in there. <laughs> okay, so two things. It might be something that is hostile to us, or there's somebody in there that we haven't met yet. <laughs> Um, you said it was kind of open. Like, how open is the door? That's just enough. Like, you can see a bit of it coming out of the frame. That's all. Okay. Literally, just this was closed, but it swung open a tiny bit because it's not locked. Well, if you guys want to open it, I'm gonna ready up a laser to shoot into that doorway if anything comes out. I yes. will stand back here, and if someone wants to open it, I will shoot something. <laughs> yeah, those are both completely silent things. Oh, Colin, hey, do you want to step time. back so you can fire a cantrip through? Yeah. No, I'm just going to open the door. <laughs> As you shove it open, you see three fire newts inside. However... God damn it. However, what you see is not the usual tableau of them about to attack you. This one is quickly wheeling with his sword to attack you. These two, however? Well, this fucker has his arm inside one of the boxes, because there's rows of chests here that are open up, like, as in storage chest, not as in treasure chest. And this guy's got his scimitar in the air, about to swing down on the arm. Huh? On his arm? Yes, on the guy with his arm in the fucking chest. Looks like we have a thief on our hand. For obvious Sitting reasons, we're something. now going into initiative. And it's no surprise round because you're both surprised, which means nobody is. Because <laughs> you see, this fucker, he was keeping his ear out in case someone came to check on what these guys were doing. It's that case of, we shouldn't be in here doing this right now. Alright, top of round is Rainy Rose. You're aware that Okan saw something, and there's also these guys down here. The ones down there haven't noticed us, right? As of yet. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> what are you doing? Moving up to see what he noticed. Noticed what he noticed. Mm -hmm. And taking a shot. Are you fuckers all just going to queue up outside the door? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe shots. <laughs> I'm a ranger. To be fair, only two of us really need to be in there. Fucking hell. <laughs> I mean, Simon's a ranger, and we've seen what he does. Uh, you were hitting this guy, yeah? That one. Oh, that one, okay. And Crab takes the dodge action. Already? Mulch! Ah, 
Let's see. I'm gonna go line up next to my crab friend. Oh, next to my crab friend. And, uh... I'm just gonna put my hands on my hips. I'm gonna shake my head and, and, and say stealing is bad to these fire newts. <laughs> Okan, I have a suggestion for your turn. Yeah. You close Move the door and you way. hold it closed. <laughs> that is a wonderful suggestion. And what happens? Let it happen. Is that all you do, Mulch? I punch this fucker in the fucking chest. I punch him in the chest. No, no, no. I think you used your action before to give a valuable lesson. Stealing is bad. <laughs> well, I guess... Uh, to okay. this guy, I can I telepathically tell him stealing is bad again? <laughs> I do have that ability, I think. Okay. Are you going to punch someone? I would like to punch someone. Okay. In a moral way. This guy has an arrow sticking out of him. This guy's ready to swing. Oh, wait. An arrow sticking out of him? From Rainy. That happened. Yeah. Hold on. My fucking roll 20 is broken. I need to reload it. Let's just get my turn for now. I'm going to be moral and stand my ground. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okan, it's your turn. Hmm. I think... And because someone as, as... someone did not whisper out stealing is wrong... Yeah, we... I said it. We now have friends. <laughs> yeah. These guys now know what's All up. Right. Oh, Jesus sort of. Christ. They look All in right. the direction. Alright. I'm actually considering to hold the door closed now. <laughs> But I think it's you guys. <laughs> I sure Scuttles can escape first. Did I or did I not say it would not take long at all for his new character to become a shitlord? I'm trying to do the right thing! Second session. <laughs> I run in and wag my finger at him and say, stealing is wrong. Yes. <laughs> I even gave what you the chance to punch someone. You said, ah, I just get my turn. Well, my roll 20 also did break at that bad moment, to be fair. All right. Unfortunately, I don't think Okun would be that kind of asshole yet. <laughs> so, I guess I'm gonna smack a newt with a big stick. To be fair, in this I'll case, try. they would be locked inside with mulch, not the other way around. I could probably take <laughs> Like, with, yeah. with your what, level 6 and all, you know, you could take this fucker down. You could That's not take right. this fucker down. <laughs> <laughs> I roll bad on attacks. Yeah, and this guy's full shield. Ready to go. Yeah. For obvious reasons, I... this guy has less of an AC. Yeah, I shall end my turn here yeah. then, I suppose. Mulch, do you want to get your punching in now with your back? No, that's okay. I, I will I will stand with my mistakes. Okay, it's the fire news uh, turn. <laughs> so this guy moves over here. 5, 10, 15... I, forgot, I forgot to do my level 6. Uh, whatever. You forgot to fucking level up? Yeah, it was only one thing, anyway. Gotta remind myself, you guys are level 6, right? Check your sheets. Uh, I'm That's level me. 5. Okay, so you're oh, still a level 5, man. You must... Yeah, that recently ticked over, I think. Oh, yes, that's right. I said after this. Potentially. Is when you're gonna hit level six. Okay. So don't worry about it. Get their stats off. Uh, all I had to do was roll HP anyway, which I haven't done. So let's see here. Mm, decision, decision. So yeah, one each for Rainy, Ginny, and Shelly. Give me a Y. So let's see here. So Spitfire. That one's for Shelly. That one's for Ginny. That one's for Rainy. As all three of them spit save? at you. Yeah, they're all deck saves. <laughs> luckily, you guys are pretty good at that. Yeah, luckily we're all good at that. But you still take half damage. Yeah. Or in Shelly's case, do you have it yet? Where you succeed against a, uh, a deck save, you don't take it? Uncanny dodge, I think. Which one was for me? Was it the ten. second Yeah, one? yours was a ten. So Shelly. five. No, un uncanny dodge is... Uh... You can reuse your reaction to half the damage. Invasion is the thing you're looking for. You get it at level 7, I think. Okay, so I don't have it yet. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have that. Yeah, so they spat at you guys. 
This guy's also gonna spit. He's gonna go for Ocon just because he's the tallest and because he couldn't understand what the fuck the small one was saying. <laughs> so that's Ocon who has to give me a deck save. Yeah, I'll probably fail that one. Yes. So Eight seven hours. damage. Meanwhile, these guys look at the small one and think he is an easier target right now. Ah, you thought. And they get advantage for it because they're flanking. Ah, yeah, they were correct. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah, that's three hits. Yeah, I, I fought as much, yeah. So, uh, that's 20 damage. Math. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Good thing I checked Volos to see what the... Yes, they do have multi-attack. I'm gonna use my healing powers soon. <laughs> Man, it would have been a good thing to pass out those potions, right? There's no way I could get the top off of those anyway. Hey, you could have. Yeah. There's actually a trick to it. Uh, uh, Jenny is going to shoot an arrow at the one closest. The <laughs> ones that spit fire at us. Yeah, he's got this guy. Uh, I didn't see it. No, it's this guy, right? Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. And one more, cause oh shit! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! That was a good damage roll too. Any movement? Any bonus? Uh, I will just move back towards. Where do I want to go? Um. Just right there. Alrighty. Shelly, as you're about to ready up and draw your weapons, Wuppertang skirts off behind the curtain. Well, I'd imagine so. Um, okay. I uh, didn't see him at all, huh? Bloop. He didn't draw attention to himself by firing an arrow or anything, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> You're just cursed you know, today. This section has I'm been like, terrible. Bonus action to disengage. <laughs> and I'm Good just going to go hide behind the cat. Oh, yeah, let me uh, reveal a bit more area here. Nope, reveal, oh, yeah. for fuck's sake. Brainy, what are you doing on your turn? Because you're up. Attacking that newt. Okay. Ah, going in close for it. Mm-hmm. That's a miss. That's a hit. Eight damage. Very nearly a kill. He's and bloody and seeping. A, and that guy is getting a crab slash. Okay. From the most competent member of our team, dealing 11 damage. It's how it goes. I mean, look at the yeah. Raxus team. Olber? Yeah, he's the brains. Olber isn't in Raxus. Oh, not Olber. Uh, Pufflesworth, yeah. He's the best. Pufflesworth is the brains. Yeah, he's the best. Compared to some party members. Anything else from you? That your full bonus action? Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Mulch! I'm, I can finally redeem myself. Sure. Ah, uh, shit. I probably shouldn't blow all my key points right now. That's probably a bad idea. Did you use the key point in order to go into a dodge stance? Then again, you have to do that in your turn. Never mind. Yeah, I have to, yeah. Uh, it's only one point, actually. It's probably worth it. Yeah, well, I'm just, just, I'm just saying you couldn't have done it. Action. Yeah, I'm just saying you couldn't have done it earlier. That's all. Yeah, yeah. But I was too busy breaking roll 20. But for now, I'm going to go for two punches on this lower guy. Uh -huh. I'm going to splatter him against the wall. We'll see. Both miss. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I will then bonus action dodge. <laughs> I'm just going to point out, like, these are plus sevens. <laughs> these guys have 15 AC. Do you know how many sides of a dice that means you guys hit them on? Most of them. Yeah. So, anything yeah. else you're doing? Do you want to use your bonus action, or are you going to use that for dodging? I, I just love shadow boxing so much. 
Yeah, I, I'm really good at not hitting. Like, I'm good at the mats, and not good at the people. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just take the one dodge action. You're worried about burning your hands, I understand. They look like they're made of fire. Oh, con. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Do I want to do anything more useful? I think I'm... I am again. Hmm. I don't think I want to grapple those. Or do I? Uh, there's not enough heat there's coming off high. them, I think. Hang on. Let me double check on Volos. Because they do have some surprising characteristics, like how they can swim and be perfectly fine in the water. That surprised the okay. players. Uh, yeah? Let's see. Nope, not Giants. There we go, Fire Newt. Mm. Yeah, there's not enough heat coming no. off them for you to think it's dangerous. No, I actually think right now... Uh... Well, I'm just putting it out there. Like, it might not be the best thing to do, but right now you think there's not enough fire or heat coming off these guys to make it dangerous to touch them. Yeah, I actually do think just hitting them right now is still the best option mm -hmm. because they are trash mobs. So, big stick. I fail. <laughs> Plus eight again. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'm going to cry and end my turn. My bad decision was so much worse than I thought it would be. <laughs> I mean, numerically, it shouldn't have been this bad. It's it's honestly quite amazing what how this party works. Like, do you remember our first fucking fight on the island? It was meant to be a simple thing against, like, 11 AC enemies, and no one was hitting at all. <laughs> uh... But they weren't hitting you guys either, who had no AC. <laughs> And then there was Vernon, the barbarian trapped in a net because he couldn't succeed at a strength check that was so fucking low. <laughs> oh, on the cliff, too. Oh. That was like seven rounds. <laughs> I remember that fight. That was a fun one. You had to, no, beat, uh, yeah. you had to beat 12. Well, okay. I can't... <laughs> uh, let's see here. So... I hope he uses a projectile. That, that way I can use my deflect missiles ability. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, I'll let you grab a fireball. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so, this guy gets his fire breath back. It's... He's gonna go for Ocon again, because it worked last time. Yeah. Ow! Even half his bitch. Yeah. Hey, but he gets it. it. Seven. Yep. This guy... Oh! All right, I, I didn't notice to... how this guy was a little bit different. Okay. I forgot to mark his token. This one has spells. Oh, God. Oh, boy. <laughs> one, two, three. Yep. As he places his big, creepy, long fingers together... Uh, nope, that's the wrong sheet. That was Fings of the Deep. I need elementary aggressors. As he uses burning hands on Rainy and Shelly. <laughs> uh... <laughs> yeah, 15 foot cone. Is that, that. that half damage? I think that's actually full evasion. Okay, good. Uh, let me double check. It's in here, isn't it? I do believe it's half. Uh, let me double check. I'd have forgotten to put or it. Or half as much on the sandwich on a successful one. Yep. Okay. So eight to both of you. And then let's see here. So that's them done. Okay. So did you use the dodge action, Mulch? Yes. Okay. So it's just straight attacks on you then. Still four of them. Yeah. Because they actually haven't had a reason to fear... Well, no, okay. I'll do two on the crab. The crab has actually hit something. Ow. Damn. And then two... Why are they rolling so high? They have a plus I know, four. they have a plus four and a plus three and shit. <laughs> I have a plus seven! And Okun has a plus eight! <laughs> what the fuck, roll 20? <laughs> what the fuck? Consistency, I'll give him that, I'll give him that. Jesus Christ. 
Wow. Mm. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll I'll take away the the second two rolls to put in the next two rolls. How about that? Uh, I don't think that's necessarily an even trade. I mean, it might be, it might not. It's it's a bet. <laughs> well, first of all, we've got the fair attacks against the crab. Jesus Christ, what? What is this? What is this fight? They're rolling so good. We're we're having a moment. <laughs> I, I can't. Throw this is a long ass moment. My- I am looking at the rest of a dungeon here and so- re-estimating what the monster should be. <laughs> I've already less than half. <laughs> well, which do you want? Which do you want to take, Mulch? Do you want to take the two nineteens you know or the seven and twenty-four? I'm gonna bet on on that one crit because I've had so, so many bad crits. I'm betting on the twenty-four. Give it to me. Correct. What? There oh. you go. Ten. Um, it's six health. Oh. <laughs> what the? Why are they rolling so well? <laughs> I wish I had that level 6 health pool. <laughs> uh, okay, we still got more attacks. <laughs> Honestly, if Mulch dies for this, it's okay. Just make sure everyone else lives. Actually, he would not move past you right now. So, two normal oh, attacks. God. And Rady's fine. Hit. She's absolutely fine. Not a problem there. <laughs> <laughs> the dice are sexist, Mulch. Uh, oh, wait a minute. That's only one of them. Correction. They do have two attacks. There we yeah, go. Wow. I think you're fine. Yep, 14 AC. There we go. I There's the real rules. <laughs> As opposed to this bullshit of 419s. What the fuck? Let's be fair, Scuttle's got half of those. I'm gonna save ah. that for later. What the fuck? <laughs> Ginny, it is your turn, and boy, howdy, what a turn. Run, run, Dude. run. Did I hear Mulch get just... He's just assaulted. whimpering. He's just a sad dog. I think he's just <laughs> pissed and surprised. Okay. It's kind of um, like, I did not see my day going this way. It's literally I'm been 12 seconds. Down here. Can I see the wounded one? Uh, here? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll try and finish that one off. Is that the magic one or no? It is not. Magic one is this one. Okay. He is dead. Still up. Okay, cool. Second shot, the magic one. As you put an arrow through the head, just getting right between the eyes. And you're hitting the magic one? Yes. Okay, then. He takes that hit. Okay. And then he and points then at will... you. I will point back as I walk back here. Except his point has something attached to it. Ah, shit. Hell is rebuke. Ah, uh, classic spell. Uh, deck save. Luckily, the party are generally good at that. Ah, fuck. You said that something. <laughs> Normally, it only happens if a player says that. I have such great power as a DM right now. <laughs> maybe, you're, maybe you're breaking the DM curse. Soon you'll be a forever DM. <laughs> I hope everyone's having fun. I am. I'm having a good time. <laughs> I'm glad to face some like repercussions for my actions. For it's taken while. weeks for this to happen, and look at the shit that goes on. Yeah. I'm gonna regret that. You see, R, this should be a easy fight or something, probably. It's, yeah, it's six fire nudes. Come on. <laughs> All right. Um. There you go, Hurdy McHurdy pants. Oh, thanks. That helps. <laughs> to be fair, he looks pretty right, badly then... carved up. It's not a nice look. Yeah, and now I disengage. I can heal myself, and... so that's good. I, I, I come out here. <laughs> that more than <laughs> doubled my health. I'm feeling great. I mean, I'm British, so the entire catalog of Queen is just going through my head right now. At all times. <laughs> that's just how it goes. <laughs> There is a dwarfish cry of, fuck you, I'm gonna have you. But you understand, Mulch. The rest of it's a bit of a, you know, just a noise and utterance. But ra- but charging out from behind the curtain comes Whoopperting. 
with what looks like part of the panel of that altar raised above his head like a club. And he swings. He hits! And does 11 ah! bludgeoning. <laughs> what are you yelling well, for? You're the one who got hit. But I'm excited. This yeah. is good. This is more damage than I've done the entire match. Yes. <laughs> and the previous map fight. <laughs> yeah. I feel you. <laughs> At least you have a stick. I just have my fucking hands. <laughs> You're a fucking monk. You're meant to just have your hands. We're not good. <laughs> You could have picked up a stick, too! <laughs> that would somehow be less effective. Uh, <laughs> although, at this point... So yeah, Whipper just came and walloped him. There you go. Who are you shanking? Magic or normal? Uh, Cutlass is normal. No, no. Um, magic Newt or normal Newt? Magic Newt, because he's the, the one I'm flanking. Okay. Uh, so you hit with the first roll. I didn't know if it was just not toggle. Okay, never hit. There we go. Oh, you anti malgurned it. You did one more than his max hit than his health. <laughs> As he is carved down. It's a case of Wubberting just came in with a board, smashed him on the head, crouching him down, which just made a nice little chunky bit in the hunch of his spine for you to stab into. He's got his blood up, and you can see that there is, in fact, blood pouring from him. He's got a nosebleed, something fierce, and it looks like a, some of the wounds in his ear hole have reopened. Oh. Uh, bonus, do you call out for a crowd to smash? Yes, I do. Or do you have anything else you want to do? I'm going to give the crab a bonus smash. I'm also noticing the rangers never cast Hunter's Mark. Well, my bonus is devoted to uh, making sure Crab can smash. Yeah. And, um... He does. Yeah. That's his lowest damage possible. Yep. Which is the highest damage I could do with Hunter's Mark, so... Yeah, but Hunter's Mark goes on every attack. That's what makes it so fuck. Pardon me. So fucking good. True, true. That's why... That's why Simon was so lethal. And Zarzul, not as much, because he just doesn't have the same attack volume. Anything else? Nope. Okay. That's all my actions. Mulch. You're still surrounded. Uh, you feel a little bit better, but you also know those blades are sharp despite how shitty they look. I don't know if I can even heal enough to tank another round. Uh, fuck. But this guy, I mean, this guy looks I'm ready go to fall. Yeah, I'm going to mm -hmm. go for the for the murdering strategy. I'm going to start with the guy on top. Finish your plate. A punch. Uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fuck! I have two! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna blow my key points. I'm gonna flurry of blows the same guy for two more hits. Oh. Why are those plus four? I I'm at a loss. It's a it's for words. Like Aren't those blows the same modifier as your normal hits? I'm yeah, attack. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so, yeah, that you get a hit. You got a hit. That's the sad thing, yeah. dude. One. It's the same damage, too. <laughs> Ten. Nice. You manage to just... You thrust in with the, with the elbow, you hit him with the back of a hand, and just paste him on the wall. And, of course, oh. you shake your hand to wax off. And then I'm going to stand here. But I'm going to point out, out of all that, you still only got one hit. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. What the fuck is with your sheet? I don't know. <laughs> okay, um. so you move there. Ocon. I wonder, should I rather heal the crab or the monk? I feel like the crab. I think the crab is I mean, pretty much I mean, the enemy can use some healing. No, oh, crab's okay. at 8 HP. Crab is... All right. All right. Oh, no, he's at 12 HP. Never mind. I think the monk is hurt more than the crab. No, no, 12 is less than what I have right now. I, I have 14. <laughs> The thing is, the crab is more efficient than the monk. <laughs> the crab does more damage. <laughs> Remember, though, dot, whenever you're below health, you're allowed to dot yourselves as bloodied. Oh, that is true. As an alert to your fellow party members, you don't always have to say numbers. Yeah. First Oop. of all, though, a big stick. 
That's oh, uh, there we go. Sure. That's not a hit. All right. Sixteen AC. Sixteen AC. Yeah. Oh, all right. Change shirt uh, and shield. Uh, <laughs> uh, I am sad. This guy was one less, and this guy is two less. Or I this guy is one less, I... and this guy is two less. Mm -hmm. I made them a change. We, we apparently can't hit anything. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, after this again. <laughs> Do you have anything else you want to do, Wokon, while I roll these? No. <laughs> I'll keep my stuff for now. My preciously few spell slots. This guy's going to throw his sword at you, Mulch. Good, good, good man. Does a 15 hit? No. Okay, you're lucky, then. I could have thrown it back, though. It would have been cool. Well, does it have to hit? I think it, does. Uh, it has to be incoming damage, so yeah. yeah. And this guy is just going to bring his blade up to his to his snout for a moment, a deep breath, and then just go out as he can. He's going to attack Rainy. What the fuck is with these rolls? <laughs> the four is mightier than the sword. At least they're getting shit damage, but my god. It still adds up with those modifiers. Not yeah, bad. that's 11 on Rainy. <laughs> and then, after he sees the success he's done of drawing blood from the cat, he starts to shift, waddle, and sidle over here. <laughs> to put her between him and the him and the other cat. Down. Um... Oh, wait a minute. Hang on, I forgot. There's still a guy completely alive between these two. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> let's see. Uh... Coin toss. Mulch, you're getting hit. <laughs> it's a reverse curse. Of course it's mulch. <laughs> Look at that. Double they finally misses. rolled what they should. <laughs> My AC is 17. I don't know how everything else was hitting. Fuck it, A. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I feel very, very like righteous at this moment. I feel fucking vindicated. You should just feel fucking cursed. Don't even lie. You should just feel I cursed. I didn't get hit. I didn't get hit. <laughs> Jenny, what are you up to? <laughs> um, if if I move here, I can see this one, right? Like, there's nothing yeah, in the way. Yeah, right? perfectly fine. Okay. I mean, you can still see him past range. Yeah. It's just to be partial cover. All that's cover. all my. That's all my movement, anyway. So yeah, lay into him. Again, though, I just looked at the rest of the monsters in the dungeon. I have worries. <laughs> We're gonna there go we rest go. for sure. No shit, nice. Very good. Let's see. Max on that first roll. Very good. Nineteen. I think. Nope. No, I'm getting it wrong here. Uh, Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Congratulations, you malgurned it. Oh no! <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! He's not even here! <laughs> His legacy sticks, just like Mudman's. It's it's interdimensional. Or actually, is this in the same universe? <laughs> Damn, if that first if that first one hit, <laughs> it would have been over. Yep. Oh, she yeah. hit! <laughs> she got to hit something! Ah! And it's still alive! <laughs> oh, uh -huh. No, it's not actually, it's dead. <laughs> Oh, good, thanks, Fox. <laughs> it was precisely <laughs> the I, damage needed, in fact. We've been so close on three in a row now. I disengage and do this. Okay. Yes. Engage? Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, just run the fuck away. Yeah, she just moves away. I'm, I'm having a moment. You can always throw your knife at the dude. <laughs> I should have done that. No. I could actually do that. Well, let's give Whooper a go. Why not? He misses. That's all he's got. Rainy. I appreciate the assistance. For fun, I gave him the charger feet. Oh, is that why the last one went better? Yeah. Well, it's why he did the damage. He's not actually that strong. 
You carve him up. All right. So we're kind of out of initiative, sort of. Because this guy here, like, he could still recharge his fire breath, but he's unarmed currently, and he still has his hand. It's a weird thing, as you notice, like, it's this big bin, basically. That's what's surrounding you guys well. You can see all the rest are closed, his one is open, and his arm is just in there. You can see the full limb, but he's not able to pull it out. It's just stuck. Mulch, as you, <laughs> as you wipe the blood off your eyes, you can see here a sign to Warfish, along with gloves and a set of tongs. It says use the tongs and wear the gloves. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Is here anything we could stuff into the fire newt's throat so it can't spit fire at us? I mean, you could just pummel him. <laughs> yeah, not which I assume you guys would do. I'm fucking mad. You know what? <laughs> Roll me your attacks. I'll give you four attacks with no key used. I want to see. <laughs> what? Where was that? He still misses one, though. <laughs> I got a crit. That's pretty good still. It makes up for it. Yeah, you just beat him into the consistency of pudding. And, ah. and during the course of it, you wind up punching him so hard, his arm tears. And you see it's still hanging there in the bin. Suspended. No blood flow. Mm. And as you look inside the bin, you see parcels. What look like ration packs. You see ah. a few small little pony kegs. Oh, 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 oh. Hmm. And luckily I can read the instructions. Well, you find the labels for them, yeah. There is one labeled Cave Fisher. Is it the one with the arm? The one with the arm in it is just labeled travel, uh, you know, sort of travel supplies. That's the kind of stuff we're going to want. Well, no, the stuff you want is on the opposite wall. This is all labeled... Oh, hang on. Got to mark it properly. All of this way is labeled various kinds of booze. Ah! Or is this is labeled as a mixture of booze and food. You know, like, one bin's full of bread. Well, it's what it's got in the label, anyway. Like I said, they're all closed, except for that one in the back. With the arm hanging in it, suspended. Let's, let's learn from this, this Fire Newt's mistake. Yeah, reach in and pull the arm out, go on. Yeah, I was about to dive right, right into the fucking, like, whole thing, head first. Oh, yeah, stick no. your head in. <laughs> so what class were you thinking of playing next? Well, actually, I was thinking a, a warlock could be fun. Yeah, you know they are. I always wanted to try something like that, you know. I got the fey packs and stuff. It's cool. Again. <laughs> so what's the party doing? Sitting down and letting everyone else... I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> yes, yeah, so what's the character well, doing? Is he going to tell us about the rules for the, uh, the doohickey? Yeah, I'll just give a good old direct translation of what it says. The tongs and where are those? Why? Yeah, wear well, the tongs, use the gloves. I mean, can we? Could we like prop it open with that fire newt's arm? Is that could we get in there? Safe I mean, it's there. open. Let's use the tongs. Like I yeah. said, you can look in. You see the fire newt arm hanging in the air. Oh. Jenny walks in and just sees how beat to shit oh, I is. See. In a way, he's befitting his name. If he was a plant originally, <laughs> now he's mulch. And he will feel sorry for him. Oh, don't do that. Oh, do that, though. <laughs> it's a pity oh. heal. Thank you. Okay, I'm actually not looking too bad right now. Thank you, Ginny. Oh my gosh. I'm not bleeding anymore. That feels great. Are the leaves just like singed now? Singed and covered in blood. It's horrible. But my Pope outfit is looking fine. So there's the, there's the five storage bins at the top for food. 
I mean, let's fucking pick up some stuff, right, guys? I assume we have the tongs in this room. The tongs and gloves are there. Good. Let's not stick our arms directly in there. It's funny as it might look, you know, based on what happened to the fire newt. And there's the and there's the alcohol. I would it's. I'm I'm curious. Let's just like take out the soup mix and see how the ingredients look. The individual ingredients. Has it been preserved well? So you flick open the the tub. Yeah, I grab my tongs and my uh, gloves. There's not much left. You see, like two little bound up packets. Okay. Like you know, they're the size of a ration packet. So you know. Like, a DVD case kind of thing. Yeah, it'll be a meal. Yeah. You reach in with the tongs and the gloves. The tongs are very long. <laughs> I hope reasons. so. And yeah, you pull them out. Give them a sniff. Like, they are strangely cold. Like, it's not a chill, but they feel cold. It's like whenever you're grabbing, say, like a bag of water, a plastic bag full of water, you can feel the dampness of water, although your hands aren't getting wet. It's that yeah. kind of sort of tertiary sensation that isn't actually happening, but it's there. But quickly yeah. they start to get to room temperature. Oh. And as you, as you unbound one, you see yeah, bundle of veg. Looks like a lot of healthy greens, and there's some little bits of sort of compressed gels. It all looks fresh. Well, this is an interesting preservation technique. Who wants to eat? As you just stuff some soup powder right into your mouth. Yeah, I'm fucking hungry. <laughs> My saliva will be the broth. It's like eating ramen with the, when you pour in the both water to your mouth. Yep. Let's wait. <laughs> Otak is a culinary man, and of course Ginny and Rainy would also know yeah. this. Cave Fisher, its blood is a incredibly potent alcohol, and the flesh yeah. is delicious. Didn't someone mm. who I'm not anymore run into one of those? A couple of them? Yeah, probably did. That's why we've got the bowstrings, and there was still an injured one at the camp. Yeah. Oh, it's still alive? Yeah, kind of has to be. Yeah, you butchered that, I... no more incredible silk. Actually, <laughs> while we're at it, can I try to figure out these fancy bottles for the healing potions? How to open one without destroying it? Yeah, it's easy enough. Once you just get a handle on it, you feel... Ah. Yeah. It's one of those things where you just gotta turn the opposite way first. Just a little half turn. Then it just seems yeah. to go right on. Yeah. Alright. Then I suppose I shall hand the halfling one or two. Hmm. Probably just one. Well, yeah, I can carry... I, I'm looking okay for now. I can carry these. But can crabs drink these? Also, Rainy probably wants one. You could pour one down its gullet, yeah. Although we might want to save these. I mean, if you give him the potion, he will get into it. But you won't be able yeah. to recycle the bottle properly. Okay. Can my Discord go out, or is this just an uncomfortable silence? Your Discord has gone out. Yep. Yeah. Uh, now. Someone should probably Discord respond in text out. for her. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, she already dropped out. There we go. Can you hear us? Yep. Yeah, you're uh, you're just probably disconnected for a while. What was the last no, thing you remember hearing? Can the crab drink this? Okay, good. That's you didn't why miss I anything. wasn't sure. That wasn't that was why I wasn't sure whether a my Discord had gone out or b it was just an uncomfortable silence. Well, I mean like, the answer can't... is yes. It's just that if you let him open it himself, you're not going to be able to reuse the bottle. We also have po we have spells we can use if we're going to take yeah. a rest at any point. So we could save or those for in a battle. Not. I think I could just pour some frying oil or something over the crab to heal him. It'll yeah, enrich him. Grease. It'll enrich him and improve his flavor. It's not going to make him better in combat unless he dies, in which case it'll make him way better. Technically, he'd drink through his gills. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so like I said, he can use a potion. It's just, well, you know, he's going to make a mess of all. Rainy's gonna get a uh, healing potion as well. Thank you. And I guess uh, the crab will get just some other snack. <laughs> I 
There you go. Look at how wrecked the party are. And pretty much, like, most of them have cure wounds on them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All because of shitty dice rolls. Until the end of the fight. Okay. Okay, so... Are we... What's the... Yeah, are we gonna continue to investigate? Or are we gonna rest? What do you guys think? Hmm. Well, shouldn't we check to see if anything else is here before we rest? Well, we know there's probably something that made that trail, right? Is that going to be all those fire newts, or is that something else? What role should we do to figure that out? I mean, it's pretty obvious it was not the fire newts making that, considering you saw them run around. With legs okay, and no, shit. The They're also newts. normal person-sized, although stretched up upwardly. No. I say let's avoid that path. creature, if you will. We have a few more doors, if you want those. Quite a number, Maybe yes. there's somewhere to sleep. I mean, you already found that room. Yeah, we got it. We have three up here. Uh, we could risk scouting out what's down there below us, but I think we should... I don't know. Are we gonna rest? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I'll give you guys a moment to decide. I'll be back in a, j in a jiffy. A short rest again? Alrighty, we just had one. We literally just spent like a minute fighting and we <laughs> were taking a short rest again. I mean, we have these three, we could do at least some of these doors up here first. Like, there's, yeah. there can't be more enemies in there, right? They would have heard by now. Hopefully. Right? <laughs> Those three doors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Did Corbis say if this is a door back here in the room we were just in? By the way, how hurt does Rainy still look? Yeah, I'm 21 out of 45. All right. Just a little hurt. All right. That's. Hmm. Do I use another cure? I can use one. Uh -huh. True. Did you use your healing potion yet? No, I'm saving it. All right. Who here doesn't have healing capabilities right now? Actually, both my level two spells are kind of shit, so I'll burn a slot. Yep, 11. All righty. Uh, I might take a potion if someone has one to save a spell slot. Uh, you gave me one potion, did you say, Battlebred? Um, yeah, I gave you one healing potion. Mm, I can actually share that with Jenny, because oh. in a pinch I can heal myself, but it, yeah. We can throw it back and forth if need be. I mean, I have four more spell slots I can use for healing, so... Okay. Yeah, because... Jenny, you can take the potion for now. All right, um, I don't trust my other spells to be useful in any capacity. How much is the healing potion again? Is it 3d4? 2d4 plus 2. two. Yep. No, 2d4 plus 2. Why'd you listen to him and not us? <laughs> to me! <laughs> so, 7. Not bad. A lot of sevens on the healing rolls, too. Mm-hmm. Not a bad roll, I guess. Pretty bad. Well, I mean, you know, it's look on the bright side. It's just absolutely god-awful, to be honest. It, it, it could have been better, yeah, sure, but, you know, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's consistent. Which has been the name of this session. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking four 19s in a row, what the hell? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> God, that way. All right, so what the? Time? Hang on, that's even worse with the fucking healing rolls because it's not like you've got different modifiers. Everyone's a plus two. <laughs> so all the sevens have indeed been the same roll. What the fuck, roll twenty? <laughs> <laughs> you 
been late. All the crits have also been 20s. That's crazy. I know. It's so fucking weird. Alrighty. Okay, I'm looking okay on resources right now if we're gonna, if we're gonna explore. Yeah. Yeah. I think we should probably open one or two more doors before we are short rest again. Yep. Just a sleepy guy, you know? Well, Mulch, uh. your special eyes. Hmm. Hydration room. Oh, that sounds nice after a long battle. Bet you there's water well, in there. Well, this is a shower room. Oh, that one sounds better. We have found a dwarven gym. I mean, like, oh yeah. Where's the Peloton? Well, that'll be at a private home. You don't have that at a gym. Come on. <laughs> you make a choice. You either afford a gym membership or you put yourself in the debt for the Peloton. I don't want to exercise that bad. So I'll open the shower room, though, if we can uh, see what's in there. Or the hydration chamber. What about both at the same time? Uh -huh. Yeah, no, just one. <laughs> both, you say, got you. So who the fuck's doing something? Come on. Well, I can read, so I'm opening my door. Rainy, do you want to get you, yourself and Scuttles up closer? I don't like the sound mm -hmm. of that. I'm also surprised you guys didn't just pick the storehouse clean, but, you know, maybe for later. Yeah, we can do it later. Yeah, we it's don't all... really have anything to carry all of this, I think. It's probably been there for a thousand years anyway. It'll be fine. Yeah. Well, we should close the one that was open, though. I do, just imagine, arm in there. I do just imagine Mulch walking out with the gloves and tongs still in hand. The gloves <laughs> might actually be useful. I should keep those. You're right. <laughs> can, I, can I steal those? Is that a big deal? You can take them if you want, yeah. I'm taking some gloves. All right, which door? Let's go to the shower. All right. Shower door it is. I hear so much consensus in this party. It's great to know you're all together in this. Yeah. Going to... As you open it up, the first thing you see, two dwarven statues, one comely made, one buff as all fuck dude. <laughs> Looks like they've got arms for holding and offering things. You can also mm. hear running water. It's like someone just constantly using like a, a watering can. But then there's tinkling on metal as well. And a steam rising and moving through the room. Can I take this opportunity to try to hunker down and reroll stealth? <laughs> if you want, sure. Yeah, just in case. <laughs> try to stay behind the big Do guy. The, are the statues <laughs> wearing like specific clothes? Can we tell? Like, is one a warrior? Is one something else? Uh, they just look, for dwarf terms, kind of sexy. How can you tell? When none of us are dwarves, we wouldn't know that. Unless Wolperting says, ooh, that's a sexy statue. <laughs> Wolperting's like, baby. <laughs> He's a bit of alright, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. What? Is there something wrong with having a bisexual dwarf? <laughs> no. <laughs> with a hole in his head? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. He does have an ear, ear missing and an anchor, but that wasn't his fault now, was it? Yeah, but it definitely brought mm. him down a few attraction points. Funnily enough, oh, that too was not a choice. Backstory? <laughs> is is, is this said... Ushane's backstory? <laughs> no, no, no. Ushane has a very different backstory you guys have fucking got to learn about. As you step in well, we sneakily... Part of it. God damn it, <laughs> I'm just peeking around the door. It's fine. All right, guys. It's all right. As you step in, you see that these two are currently ab absorbed in their ablutions. They are enjoying the water, which seems to be scalding hot. That uh, makes sense. 
But no, you can tell. You said the statues had their hands out? Yeah, you know, like an arm out, you know, to hold a towel or a robe. Okay. The goggles, cod piece, you know, that sort of stuff. Hang your helmet on the nose. <laughs> is there another door across the way, or is it just this straight down? This looks to be straight down. Okay. Might as well reveal the whole room. There we go. Well, I'll sneak on back and relate to the party that there are some relaxing fire newts. They sure do look happy. I say we gank them. Let's fucking murder! Yeah. Let the sneaky people get the drop on them. If they didn't hear our scuffle earlier, they're probably safe to leave while we check the other rooms. Yeah, to be fair, they are in the midst of a shower. Oh, true. And, you know, it's a stone shower as well, so it is kind of echoing a bit. There are only two of them. Is there a way to block the door? Eh, you can close it, put a few things in front of it, but you got to find stuff to put in front of it. The main resource oh. you have for that is corpses. <laughs> and a uh, bunch of food. I believe the corpses work better. Well, let's just open these other doors and peek into the rooms first and see what we can see, I think. Oh, there might sure. be some stuff in there we can move. Sure. All right, so you push open for the hydration chamber. Yep. At first oh. glance, it looks like an upmarket bathhouse. Again, very straight edges. Ignore the wibbly lines. That's someone else who drew this map. And a few recesses as well to sit in. A couple of carved chairs from the floor itself. But then you notice there's a sort of haze and a wibbliness to everything you're looking at in the room. Okay. It's empty, right? It's got a so few. What do you mean a haze? Yeah, as you're looking in, you can see your vision sort of moving around in front of you in the room. Like, things are getting distorted, lines are breaking and wibbling. Like a, in the hood of a car on a hot day. Mm, sort of. Okay. And but, like, mean, bigger for waves? Dwarfs? For dwarfs, I'm wondering if hydration chamber means drinking room or a sauna. <laughs> I mean, wasn't that room that was... I don't know. They should have a lot of... We haven't like found things. a bar or something yet. Well, we found the booze. Yeah. Which is close. You might have a point. Kind of kitty corner. Anyway, they're all dead. Let's steal their stuff. Anyone gonna step in? I can, I can go I again suppose. if you guys want. Oh, talk! the moment you put a foot in is a bizarre sensation. It feels like you've just went underwater. You feel it all shifting around you. It is refreshing, cold, with a very nice, gentle current breezing past you, but you're breathing fine. Oh, that's what the waves were. Okay. Huh. As you just step around, there's not the weight of pushing yourself underwater, but you can still feel it sort of swimming all around you. All right. Do we still see him? Yeah. Okay. And he just looks kind of wibbly wobbly. <laughs> yeah, he's got he's like moving normally. Yeah. Yeah. Just walking around, enjoying the sensation, cooling down. What Is there anything there, else? Of... Is there anything else of interest in this room, or is it just a when pleasant over... atmosphere? When you get over here, the currents are a lot faster. Huh. And there are a few empty drinking vessels. A couple of tankards, a few mugs, a few ewers. Yeah. Hmm. You do notice they all yeah. have an enclosed top to them with just a small little, basically a sippy tip. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything in those still, or are they empty? I mean, as you pick them up, you've got a, a, got a straight feeling, and you just sort of, you know, you have to pull off the lid to look inside. Yeah, there's water in them. But, you know, it's also the water around you, so it's practically clear. Like, you can see movement, you, you can feel the volume change inside as you stick a finger in. 
But it's not like you're seeing anything tinged with blue or anything. This is crystal clear. I guess I'm going to carry that bottle outside. As you're walking, you, and you pass the threshold, you can see that the liquid inside and on you is all getting drawn back. It's not passing the surface tension of the entrance. Okay. So the mug is clean and empty. All right. This is huh. fun. Did we kind of see it get pulled along with him when he walked out? I feel sort like the of. soggy elf. I feel like the soggy elf would like this. <laughs> She's so she is gently getting pushed inside. Uh, okay. <laughs> she she kind of steps in. I don't know, Shelly. You you know what I've described here. Does this feel right for the elf? It's water, but you're not really moving in water. Doesn't have the weight or the heft of it. She looks very confused. Like, this is unnatural. This is not her, her natural environment. But it is cool. It's nice to yeah, feel a current again. Yeah, she likes that part. Yeah. She, she would gesture for other people to come in. <laughs> Can you speak in there? She, she just calls, come in. Well, actually, she can. Yeah, I can. Oh, sounds normal. You I see, guess. no, no, it is muffled, but you see bubbles okay. shooting out around her, her mouth and gills. Okay. There's a little bit of muffled noise. Well, if she's waving us in, too, I mean, we can all go in. You all have that magical open, water bubble. Let's describe me again. Fuck you all. <laughs> oh, what's going on? This is a strange sensation. <laughs> you said the current was stronger up here? Yeah, in the recess. Because it... Yeah. Well, I know you didn't draw the map. Is it, like, a whirlpool? It's not that vigorous, but it is a little stronger. Does it look like water is, like, draining in that circle, or...? That's the thing, you don't really... S like, you glance around, you don't see drains anywhere. Okay. But certainly there's more force going on in that recess. Also, there's forgot something magic. I forgot to mention something important here. There's also double doors over here. Anyway, move on. So we saw oh. that. <laughs> we should go quick. That's the point of pointing out something that is not important. But yeah, it is incredibly refreshing. Okay. Does Rainy not want to partake? Maybe. Maybe for our next short rest. But for now, I suppose, let's see what the last door holds. Mystery door number three. It clatters in your hands. Does not open. All right, keep an eye on the showers while we're doing with that. Is there an actual lock on the door? There is a big ass keyhole in it. Okay. No, no, it's um, it's like it's about like two to three inches wide. Okay. Did I ever reacquire my thieves tool? Not yet. Fuck. Could these tongs work? Still there, Pio? Mm -hmm. Okay, just making sure. Could the tongs work? There are many things the tongs could do. Pick locks is not one of them? No, it is not one of them. Damn. Uh. Into the shower wanna, room? Yeah, ask, wanna go kill those fire nudes? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to follow me into I the showers a for idea. a little murder? I can't do that fucking music thing by yeah whatever. E e e e e. Yes, Someone that get one, that monkey. <laughs> Cordell, the sound you were trying to make sounds completely different than what she did. What the fuck? Yeah, but I mean, you know, he was trying to do the psycho me. sound, but instead it, went for yours, squeaky clean. Yours sounded like a fucking ru like rusty lock. In the shower, you know, squeaky clean. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, 
god, that fucking Red Dwarf line. He used to call you Rusty Lock because I make because I make the noise of Rusty Lock during sex. Is that he told you that? I want to give you a secret. No, he said your aunt had a rusty lock on her gate. Nights were dull. <laughs> Never overshare. Um, I just peeked through the door. Are they still occupied yeah. with their... Yeah, they're still scrub-a-dub. Yeah. I'll just, just pop run out, out and just tell them, you know, they're still cleaning. Why don't we just solve the problem before they decide to come out? <laughs> yeah, we're going right now. Like, you know, stab, stab, stab. Or whatever you guys do. You're not sure, Jenny, um, for a moment if this is a halfling or a child. <laughs> <laughs> the facial hair is your only clue. <laughs> As you hear stab, 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 or whatever it is you do. <laughs> stab. He says stab, 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 and he's a punchy monk. And he's miming the stabbing with his punches. <laughs> fingers out, you know, it's like finger guns but finger knives <laughs> um well, who so wants to go need, first? this guy needs a key big key hmm. did, we, did we check any of the fire new corpses if they had one? you would have noticed no. if they had something this size to be fair okay because you said oh, the yeah. keyhole was like two to three inches wide, right? yeah and it might be... Yeah, it's a big-ass key. Yep. Well, let's get it. There's no... There's no... No, I... Uh, I okay, know. well... No, no, in, go so. ahead, Jenny. Hey! Was there any text on the door or anything, or just the lock? No text, but more forge symbols. Huh. Uh, did huh. Whooperting or Mulch... Uh, recognize it? I mean, it's just more Forge stuff, really. Yeah, we'll pretend like, we It's a simple fact of, it's maintaining a theme. Okay. But it doesn't have the horned one on it. It's just anvil, armor, weapons. Craftsmanship, you know? Okay. Well, however you guys want to deal with these two, if we want to just blockade could... them in, or kill them. I was thinking we could, uh, just, I could, we could lure them out, and then we could just all line up and beat the shit out of them when they come out. Because Corvus mentioned that the water seemed like it was scalding hot. I don't know if I want to spend too much time in the showers. Sure, if you want to lure them out. I mean, there's options. And there are three other voices in the party who'd be chiming in right now. Yeah, there's... I, I've been, I don't I've think... I've been chiming in a lot. I'm not sure what particularly we can do with, outside of just tossing something at them, lighting the ropes, the rogue stab them or something, and come back here, just beat push them all something... up together. Yes, Pio? Just put something in front of the door and leave them in there. Yeah, that was my first suggestion. Your only main sure. resource. <laughs> <laughs> More corpses. And keep the half oh, inside we... as well. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Most is stuck in there. Bye. I'll make sure they don't go anywhere. <laughs> so now we have... What's the, our only option is like, down south? Yeah. We, I mean, could we force the door? Is there, is there any way to do that? Yes. You could, this, if there were more of you. This thing is not a door. All right. That is a door. Uh, that is a door. That is oh, a it door. is a door. Oh, There's yeah. one more way we could go. Also, we could give all the chests a check to see if there's any that are mislabeled. I don't know. I don't think there's anything in there, but... Uh. 
Is there anything on the door? Uh, not for you guys. But for Mulch and Whipperting, they chip in. It's just... Oh. just says kitchen. Repertory. Yeah, eh. Wouldn't hurt to check, I guess. I mean, if there's anywhere you can improvise from, rules. from the other side. Give me a perception check. You don't have a shit works. Sounds all clear. You don't hear anything. It just seems like your room. Although at the twinge of your ear, it's not in the next room. It seems to be just sort of reverberating through the wall. You can hear a steady beat. Like a drum beat? Not a drum beat, just an impact of something that's heavy enough to tremor through the walls. And it's steady? Steady. Hmm. Okay. Huh. And yeah, as you come into this chamber, although it doesn't have the decorations for it, it is a kitchen preparatory area. And do we have some more doors, looks like? It does. Are these like hearths? Eh, I don't know. I think they were fountains or something in the original design, but we'll save our cooking hearths, yeah. It's paradise! Yeah, this is a <laughs> nicely tooled up place, too. You can see on the walls there is the full supplies for cooking and a big pot. And it's all still super fucking shiny and well made. They take everything. There are also two shiny knives. Nice. Yeah, the stabbing thing. This may That's be relevant I... to other members of the party as well. I'll call over Shelly. <laughs> well. Ocon is going to take a fine selection of everything he needs yeah. instead of the shoddy things he made from the scimitars. Yeah. And this is like, I mean, I assume fine dwarven craftsmanship. Oh yeah, everything yeah. is supremely nice, but a little extra heavy and dense. Yeah. And also everything's no angular, even the spoons. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's not a good choice. The weirdest thing is the whisk is angular too. It's not round, it's a square. <laughs> These dwarfs have forgotten how to make curves. <laughs> well, you know that's not true, you saw the statue. True. <laughs> they just prefer not to. They like to have things chiseled, like those abs on that statue. Both <laughs> statues. <laughs> Yes, one of the knives. Nice slimline thing. It looks very thin, very balanced, like a fruit pairing knife kind of thing. But it has such a fine edge to it. The other you get a you get a heft for it. It's like a meat uh, meat cleaver knife, but a bit short, a bit thin, wavy knife. But it feels very well balanced in the hand. Since we can't do identify. You get a feel enough for a Shelly, you feel it. This meat cleaver, it is a plus one knife. But it also hmm. but it also only has one range for throwing of sixty feet. It won't go any further. But that distance, it'll go easily. That's different. The other knife is just really good. It feels like you could, you know, if you had enough fabric to make clothing, you could probably sneak this in a sleeve or something like that there easily. Hold on, let me go to the notes. All right, so it's the the cleaver is a plus one dagger, sixty foot range of throwing, and it does have the throwing property, so someone with strength can also huck it. And the other one is just a sneaky knife. But looks like it's silvered. She, she holds up the cleaver. Would anybody object if I keep this? <laughs> it depends on how you hold it up, their answer. 
<laughs> brandish? Oh, they brandish might agree, it. but yeah, you can keep that. That's fine. Please. <laughs> yep, she's brandishing it. Don't don't hurt me. Apparently that's very easy to do, somehow. <laughs> you, yeah, you think I would not. Uh. <laughs> oh, you could probably be pretty effective with that, so I'd say keep it. Two okay. more chambers. Well, Easy. This I'll one's just... This one. Reading stuff. Yeah. Yeah. This one's just labeled dorm. Yeah. And this one's storage. Let's open the dorm first, I suppose. Despite the dwarven craftsmanship, the centuries have took their toll. Like, there is a bunk bed, but the top has long fallen through. There is a nice apron. But everything else just sort of, you know, neglected, old, abandoned. Uh, well, I guess I'm gonna take a look around, see if there's anything of interest in there. Mm -hmm. You do find something beneath the bed. It's a long travel down to get there for you. <laughs> but once you do get your eyes underneath the bed, you do see... Of course. Fine silverware. Fork, knife, spoon, a plate, uh. and what was probably mold, but has already long since perished itself, having nothing to feed on. On a plate. They were snacking. <laughs> uh, the silverware is nice, though. It's a bit small in your hands, but it's got the right weight. You know, you don't feel like you're overpowering and gonna snap this. Yeah. Gotta take the silverware. Because, why not? Yeah. Sometimes you want to eat in the wilderness, but in a fancy way. Yeah. The plate is probably not that fancy, or is it also fancy? I mean, it feels like it's made out of solid metal. Give it a little tap, you compare it to the silverware. Oh, that's not mm. silver. That's the shinier metal. It's a platinum oh. dish. Oh, nice. I'm gonna take that as well, then. Baller. To chuck it at people, at least. Get some great poupon on there. Like, you reckon if you got this in the right restaurant, I mean, it's only one, but you could probably flog this off for maybe about 50 gold. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> Is this a I have, yeah. I have nowhere to sell it, but it's a fancy place. That's the one so. labeled storeroom. Yeah, shove it open, I imagine. Yep. This one does not have the helpful time freezing issues. There's a smell, but it is so old and dull. But it was foul once, but now it's just something in the nose. There are crates that have long since just fallen apart, rotted completely. There's a lot of mulch in here, in a way. But it's so dried up that... It couldn't even be considered rotten. Uh -uh. Yeah, ignore the stars for some other purpose. There is also a cage here. With a skeleton. Cage. With a skeleton inside it. Could we tell what was in the cage? Roll me nature. You assume... Pig. Looks about the right shape. A few centuries too late for some bacon. You do notice, though, there is a pink bow underneath its skull. Ah, That was somebody's friend. Damn. I show you love and affection so that you will taste good. I, I, also, I don't leave this bow. cage. This is the cage, right? Yeah, in the corner. Nothing behind it. Yeah, if I pick up the bow, is it interesting? It looks nice. It's very good condition for what it is. Like, 
Everything else is so rotten and decrepit, and this stands out. Even the bones look like they, you know, fall apart at a little bit of pressure. You don't see anything... Yeah, in that case. Yeah, you don't see anything in the cage or behind it. Okay, she, hmm. she puts the bow in her hair. Unless you really want that water dish. <laughs> is the cage, like, unlocked and open, or...? Eh, it's still locked, but... Even for dwarfs, you you look at that lock and think that's that's an afterthought, if anything. Yeah, it's for the animals. Yeah, okay. that would that would keep a pig in, but it's not going to keep anyone determined out. All right. All right. I guess the only place left is where the mutes were. And unless I mean, there might be some secret rooms around here, but it's probably not worth looking for. But you never know with dwarves. Yeah, I suppose Oaken is slowly heading towards where the angry newts were. Oh, I'll avert my eyes from Wuperting. <laughs> was there anything interesting about that little... There was a little statue in the forge room, right? It was just a cute little guy? Big, no, no, big statue. Oh, big one, okay. But there is a little dwarf on the anvil that's part of the statue. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Like, you look at it and think, I, I want to lift that up and play with it. I yeah. could kiss things, but no, it's it's part of the anvil. Damn, I wanted a cool toy. Okay. Yeah. No, no merchandise here. You gotta go Raxus for that. <laughs> but yes, as to your question, this is taking place during the sp during the summer. Raxus is currently in autumn. Okay, so a little slightly different timeline, but there is even an there is even a deadline for you guys to do something. There is a stage show opening up in Raxus. It may be this adventure, <laughs> but you have to survive and escape. I want a multi-class into Bard. I should do that for level six. No. Damn. <laughs> I mean, you could. It is up to you. I mean, inspiration could be nice to throw around a little bit. Oh, there's so much fucking inspiration getting flung around in the Shrag game. <laughs> As someone who has seen you play a bard, I, I will also go with Corvus and say no. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, how much different is it from Mulch? No, no, no. He was the MVP of the campaign, no question. Lots of murder. Fuck, man, you can't talk, though. <laughs> yeah, Not under pressure. <laughs> I don't think anything Gunther said. No, no, never mind, never mind. Let's keep going. It, yeah, it didn't matter. You were never allowed to roll. Wait. Didn't you bang a dragon? <laughs> <laughs> of course he brings that part up. Yes, he did. Maybe it's, but, you know, I cannot confirm or deny. But he was also never allowed to roll persuasion. With his plus 13 um, in it. Yeah, well, you know. Yep. Just like real life. More doors. And this is... Is this, is this a door, or is it just, like, a thing in the map? That is a wall. Okay. I've had to change the shape of the map in order to lead things around better. Okay. And However, is the uh, trail... Importantly, oh, yes, I was about to get to that. There is no door here, for it has been melted through, and the trail continues. Ah! <laughs> Let's go away from that. So there's thing. just a hole in the wall. <laughs> yeah. How big's the hole? Pretty big, like, you could... Well, Otak could easily walk through it with a lot of space to spare. He could have Ooh, Ginny beside uh, him. He could carry Ginny on his shoulders. Uh, I mean, are we required to be here by any reason? This is just where we met, you know. We could all leave together. There are also some pretty heavy scorch marks on the stonework here and here. Blanking the door. They're sort of concentric circles, but then there's also some scarring on the walls. Is there smoke? There's a bit of a haze of smoke, really. A little bit. And there's still a door where I am? Nope, there is no door there. That is the hole you could no. walk through with Ginny, so hang on, let me reveal the room. It's now got the right angle. And the other it. end does have a door, correct, still? Yes. All right. There's also no door in this room. 
spell. Next okay. time we see a door. Oh boy. Is there okay. anything in these rooms? Or is there anything of note about them? Yes. So, there is no door here. Another hallway. No, no, but there is a case of the same black scorch marks in this room. Two of them. Separate from is the there trail. Still a trail? Yeah, the trail is still going on. In fact, I've got to reveal a bit more because of Otak pushing forward. You then see that the trail veers downwards. Okay. What you see we in this room, Otak, the... is empty racks and shelves. This looks like somewhere where you're meant to get your gear. But everything is gone. Like, you can see the impressions and even some draw stenciling on the walls. For hammers, tongs, aprons, helmets. Okay. Hmm. This hall waiver is actually a development of damp. And mold. And the edges. Beyond that, is everything kind of the same amount of de degradation? Everything is kind of the same type? Yeah. Just this one's more but this, moldy and wet. Yeah, on the floor in the corners, there's a fair bit of mold, and there's also a sort of clamminess in the air. Okay. There is a door here. Should we check that door in the first room, though? Before yeah, we while we're there. Yeah, I was going to say well. maybe here. I'll open it up. There is a sign on on the door. Oh, I would ask I for shall read. what it says. It says dorm. Huh? She she Any waits sound she hasn't been side? told. <laughs> What'd you say, Jenny? She, she... I was just uh, asking, was there any noise from the other side? I mean, you'd need the rolling perception. The good old ear to the door trick. Nothing. But you do get that same, like, once you're, once you're here, it's fainter, but you're still getting that same sort of rumble. Hmm. Wait, you said it's fainter? Yeah, not as loud. You know, feeling yeah, along this upper wall. wall. Where where did I hear it before? Up here? Mm hmm It was louder. Yeah, I want to listen along this wall. You're gonna listen there? Give me a perception back. check. Perception. Yeah, you can feel it. It's Yeah. It's fair. And then I'll just do a quick comparison down here. You don't really hear it at all here. Yeah. So it's coming from up here. Yeah. Somewhere in that, yeah. Yeah, you can, can see try here, and this was a well-used bedroom, but in the case of not having beds, it just had places for rolls and the occasional cushion. There are four... Anything? Yeah, there are four cabinets still upright. Two of them are busted up pretty bad and actually scorched up. Yeah. These two are intact. Chill and... She will investigate them. <laughs> she will not investigate them. Ginny takes the lead. You're distracted by the cat man. <laughs> I won't say how, but he's just so blue. And that's a nice color for a sea elf to see. Are, are these um, mm -hmm. tapestries? or? Nah, they're nothing. There's the feature it was drawn okay. on the map. Yeah. I know you did draw this map. Is this a door or anything? It was in the original version. It's not in this version. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's just a wall. And out. Yeah, you do find some actually hard, hard wearing looking workers' clothes. You find a couple of shirts, some good breeches, a few leather aprons, big thick gloves, and also two potion bottles. Ooh. Are they. They are different Dried from up. healing. No, they are still there. When you touch them, there is a buildup of heat in your hand. 
And as you inspect it closely, you can see tiny little sparkling lizards inside the bottle. No, no. Uh, I'm thinking of those like um those little monkey shrimp you can buy. <laughs> And they're both the same, right? Yeah, both the same. Uh, do I know anything about potions? Let me check my thing. Nope. Anyone got Arcana? Um, I don't think so. Let me check. Nope. I have, I have acrobatics. Nope. <laughs> Otak? Is he busy? No, he's not muted. Otak! I mean. Well, anyway, what are you guys going to continue doing? Uh, I guess I'll go back to this room. Yeah, it's the... Yes, do you have Arcana? Uh, no. All right, I accidentally muted myself. Ah. I uh, was going to say I don't have Arcana, but I have Alchemy Supplies proficiency. If that yeah, I'll, I'll let it roll that there. All right. Good with your intelligence. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> You're, it's, you can't just... Yeah. <laughs> This is why he's a custom artificer who is using wisdom instead of intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think um, I can. You can make anything some assumptions. Night. There's some bits and pieces that are clicking in your head. It's not the usual ingredient. Maybe it's fire resistance. That would make sense for Smiths in a hot island. Maybe it's fire breathing and it was just a great prank. It could no. just be some really potent drink. It's just mm. fire. It Something could, fire. This could be that fire water they were talking about. <laughs> yeah. It could be a I breeding suppose. gland that they squeezed out of a fire newt into a jar. Yeah. <laughs> now that would be interesting. I wonder how it tastes. It's not the you taste, would. it's the feeling afterwards. <laughs> a shame. <laughs> uh, I might have missed it, Corvus. Are these anything? They are not, but this, well, basically coat racks and stands and all. They're shelving here. Okay. This is where they were picking up their tools and gear. Then there's the moldy hallway. Is this a door? Slip. It is a door. Um, I'm gonna put my ear up to it. I want to listen for that beat. You do not hear the beat. You also okay. don't hear anything inside the room. Okay. And are these yeah, anything? Know. That's what I'm using for the indication of a mold. Like, it's built up okay. along the edges here. Uh, is the door locked? You could always examine okay. them if you want, you know. What? Dig in deep, get the tongue involved. <laughs> is the door locked? No, if you, if you want, you can push it open. Sure. Inside, you see a small room with... A drain in the center. There's also some shelves around you. A few things look familiar. There are some incredibly dried out just bundles of dust that used to be in vials, but the glass itself is also cracked. You do, you do see another red potion in an extra fancy container. Sure, I'll take that. The quantity of it? Yeah, this feels like it would be a big healing. In fact, it is a superior healing potion. Nice. Which is 8d4 plus 8. I There's will no give way it wrong. to Shelly, because she's more up in stuff, and the monk, I don't know. My max HP is not that high, so I shouldn't take that one. You see a second bottle, but tragically, it has cracks in it and is long since emptied. 
There's also some gauze bandages, although it feels all very old, brittle, like it's not going to hold up that well. It's just going to infect the wound. Not even that, <laughs> it's just it's not going to be able to be pulled across on it. But uh, okay. if you want to spend the time, you could probably make a healer's kit. Out of what's survived here. Probably good I'll to bring in Otop for, for this. I'll take it for now and just hold it. Yeah, I don't actually have either skits proficiency or anything. I don't know if there is no proficiency for it. It's a case of you ah. you're an, okay. you know, you've got a bit of an alchemist sense. Yeah, you you know how to put one of uh, these together. Well, I have medicine profi uh proficiency, yeah. so yeah. Yeah. So I'll luck. hold it for now. We don't need to do it right now. I think it would take a while, right? It would take a little bit of time, yeah, like a couple of mm -hmm. minutes, okay. ten minutes or so. All right. Uh, I'll just keep it for now. Um, did we open this door already? It is already open because, like, these doors have been melted through. Oh, okay. Importantly, as you look down here, you see both a trail going this way, but also there's an, an, there's an extra flickering to the light level around here. Like, different from the brazier, which are pretty steady glows, there is some movement of light around this sort of area. Vigorous. By movement, you mean like it's a, like, more of a bonfire type thing? Or... Yeah, like an open flame in the wind kind of thing. Is that about a half hour? And another door? Another door over there, yeah. Um... Can they see the difference in light from where everyone else is? <laughs> Ooh. Like, Shelly would be able to spot it, that's about it. Everyone else is sort of peeling back. I mean, Whipper Ting's not going up front. Sorry, I'm dealing with a kitten Ooh. right now. It's a fun thing to do. Um, Where the trail went, is there da, 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 like da, da, another da, da, melted da, 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 door? Da, 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 da. Da -da -da. Plant your feet because you just stepped into it. Uh oh. As you round the corner to see two beings of fire clad in armor. Uh. But we are oh. also at a quarter two. Like we're two hours forty two here. Do we want to start this big fight? Well, how long do you think this fight would take? Considering you guys, anywhere between half an hour to two days. <laughs> um, I'm fine stopping here, then. I can go either way. Yeah, but you're, I mean, getting, you're having to choose now. I'm pretty confident that my, my rolls will get better, so... I feel it might be getting a little bit late for Otak, because we are at our usual, like, our proper ending time yeah. at this point. Yeah, it's late yeah. for me, too, because I have to I've... get up. Yeah, I think I would prefer stopping yeah. here. No, yeah, so instead well. of running over long, we'll just nip it here for now. All right. But hopefully we'll be back and able to do this next week. Uh, yeah. There's a chance we could make nice. this a regular thing. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I think I should be able to. I wouldn't mind that. Yeah, that'd be nice. As okay. long as the state of California stays at its current state of fire. Oh, really? Uh -huh. You want that? <laughs> Can't even hope for I mean, improvement, huh? It, it's only going to get worse, yeah. <laughs> It's only gonna get worse. Mm. It's it's only August. Wasn't there a new fire like just a few days ago? Yeah, and it burned through a town. Fucking hell. So, uh shit. So yeah. Gonna stop the stream here. That's the session done for this week. We'll be back next week, hopefully.